What up, what up? It's your boy Paul P. I serve God. I'm not God. This is just my opinion. And welcome to the first episode of the new Cancel Culture Show. We in the building, baby. Woo! Woo, 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 we got too fat. Woo, woo. Well, I was about to say, but you know, might as well go. We got the one and only Amarachi, <laughs> okay. the queen in the building. What's poppin'? Yo, yo, the queen is in the building. Cancel me now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and we got JY Want More. What JY, up, what up? baby? Always looking good, smelling good, and feeling good every day, all day. Man, hey. man, you know how it goes, right. man. You know, hey, hey, hey. First and foremost, thank you, everybody. For coming and seeing what these fools talking about the cancel culture show, we <laughs> yeah. appreciate all of you being here. We told you guys for the last couple of weeks that we are revamping things. We're gonna be coming to you with this a couple of days out the week, and we gonna do it big. Hey. And you know what? Um, we not tripping. We, we gonna talk about what we talk about, how we talk about it, when we talk about it, and nobody here to tell us we can't. Hey. hey. <laughs> Before we get into it and we explain to the people what it's all about when it comes down to this new show, uh, let's go around around. You know what I'm saying? We start with you. Uh, 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 yeah, start you, you know, start, start with you, the bro. There. What's right, popping, man? Yeah. What's been going on? Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just out here you're trying to win that first, first place. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, everything is good out here. You know, God is good. and uh, All the time. Yeah, all the time. And, um, yeah, I'm just ready to rock the show, bro. I'm excited, man. I'm turned up today. Yes, sir. Always turned up though. You always gotta have that positive energy. So you always gotta be turned up and with positive vibes. You know what I'm saying? You wanna you want when you wake up out when you wake up out the bed and you leave that house, you know what I'm saying? You always wanna have a smile on your face, you know? You always wanna think positive and you know, cause when you think negative, that's when negative shit happens too. You feel me? Oh yeah. You know, you might be having a bad day and thinking like, Oh man, I might get a flat tire today and bam, you might get in your car and drive down the road, bam, your tire pop, you know. So I mean you always want to think positive, so positive things can happen. You feel me? So yeah. that's all facts. I want to say. Yes, sir. Facts, facts. What hey, about baby, What about you? Hey, what's what's been popping with you? Up a lot. Um, <laughs> well, trust me. Are you gonna me. give you this is the this is the cancer culture show. We talk. We keep yeah. it real. So are you gonna keep it real with of the people? Or are you I'm gonna are you gonna real. give them the the the, the, the nice I'm always keeping it sugar coated, you know, nah, part of it. Look, you I'll gonna... be seeing the comments, they're like, she ain't never gonna get a man. What is she talking about? She don't know what she's talking about. So I ain't been well, sure. Well shit. let them know. Let them know what's really <laughs> no, going on. Does, that doesn't matter. Let I them was know. gonna say everything good. And I love how you guys have a tagline. I gotta get one too, like a regular one. You know, every week I'm a different person. So I wanna well, I told you, you Amarachi Fasachi. <laughs> yeah. I gave her one earlier. With I was like Amarachi Fasachi. See we here we go. All the Versace. 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 No, my name means grace of God, so don't be adding all that Versace Liberace. I mean, I mean, I thought, I thought, was, I thought the queen is in a building. Oh, she is. Um, but everything is good. And uh, I was gonna say, even though with life's challenges, like JY said, you gotta get up, keep moving forward, and mm -hmm. do your best. And you know what? Disappointments. When you think about it, I'm changing my mindset to where I embrace them mm. versus be upset or, you know, uh, down about them, you know, got and got taking it. it out. Cause I'm like, we have to trust God. What else do we have? Got to, got to. So I've had a lot going on, but I'm like smiling. I don't care. Facts, <laughs> like facts. literally Keeping stuff, crazy real. stuff. But I'm like, you know, I'm not even going to get upset or worry about it. I'm just going to do what I got to do. And God is going to be right there. So Amen all to that. the way <laughs> to yeah, 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 yeah. You know? <laughs> hey, you know, it's, it's it's all good, it's all love. What you know, about I would yeah. man, I, I first and foremost, man, you know, it's uh it's uh, it's always crazy, you know, in my world, you know, trying to keep these businesses going, you know, yeah. dealing with a little bit of negativity, nonsense, but also dealing with a lot of love, you know. Um thank God, you know, um, 
the uh you know uh last business venture we started um you know everybody here at the table is a part of it man so i, I just i just love that you could do the things that you love with the people who you love and um you know care about so i'm excited about that you know what i'm saying and everything um you know we started this new show right here was focusing on getting that going and everything like that and um just to go into a little bit of a little bit of detail here and there for the people who don't know i wanted to start this new segment right here to let people know that when it comes down to the things that we're going to be talking about we're not going to hold back you got a lot of these mainstream platforms to where you individuals you people y'all not getting the real we want to keep it real you know what i'm saying when it comes down to it somebody got to say something against our faith that's what we represent when, when it comes down to it, somebody got to say something about, you know, rather we a Democrat or a Republican, whatever, we are a Republican. Hey, it is what it is. Miss right. Amarachi. Hey, <laughs> free Trump, Trump 2024, <laughs> holla at your girl. <laughs> when it comes down to Dayton, you know we keep it all the way real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You be seeing me there, we go back and forth. It is what it is. Yeah. We going to keep it all the way real. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to business, we going to tell you the truth. Yeah. When it comes down to what's going on in the world that y'all are paying attention to every day, which is that celebrity world. Yeah. The world everybody thinks that they can be a part of. I'm a, I'm a celebrity too. That world. Yeah, exactly. We're mm-hmm. going to keep it real when we break down those topics. So we're going to keep it real. That's what this platform right here is for. That's what this show is for. And that's why we decided to call it the Cancel Culture Show. Hey. Hey. So, hey, watch it while you can, because you never know. We may get canceled. <laughs> right. Because we're going to keep it real. But we also are going to invite guests in the future who are not afraid to sit at this table with us. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is all for the culture. It's time for us to keep it real, tell the truth, and don't hold nothing back. Hey. The reason why I believe we so divided is because we don't keep it real. We don't tell each other the truth. We scared and afraid to have the tough conversations. Am I lying? Nope, Can I get not. a witness? Okay. Amen. Can I get a witness Amen. right now? Oh, Amen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People in our community is afraid yeah. to have these conversations. You got men over there in the corner having conversations, talking about it. Da, 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 da. Chat, chat, chat. Yeah. You got women over there talking, having conversations, chatting. Da, 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 this nigga, yeah. this nigga, that, this nigga, that. <clears throat> but nobody is having conversations together when it comes down to both sides. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to bring it together. Yeah. We're going to have them. Sometimes we may fuss it out a little bit, a little back and forth. Don't get scared. That's what we do. Yeah. But we're going to work it out. We're going to get through it. That's what this platform is for. You're going to see us have the conversations that you have at home by yourself, or you be like, dang, man, they, they really talking about that right now? Yeah. Live? Live? What? Yes. Yeah. That's what we're going to be doing. Cause we not afraid of you. You scared, bro? You scared? I ain't never scared. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Like Bone Crusher said, I ain't never scared. Okay, I ain't never club. scared. Okay, okay. <laughs> are, are you scared? Are you scared, no, Queen? I'm much? Hey, so I go to my load. Okay, <laughs> don't get me started. Hey, <laughs> All right. the ratchet, exactly. You know what no, I'm saying? No, I'm not scared, and I okay. want to keep it real. Can you guys keep it real with me today? Do my hair look like an old lady? Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't see. <laughs> That's how you know nah, I've been nah, going nah, through nah. some things. Now, nah, real talk, you know what I, what, you know what I give you props for though. No matter what, which it don't look bad, but I give you props for this though. You're not afraid to take risks. Oh, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, That's yeah, why. That's you. why we mess with you. Got nothing but love for. Emirachi in the building Y'all right now. Y'all tell me in the comments. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. Keep, 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 <laughs> keep it real. But one thing that I do love is that you don't hold back. You know, you represent who you are yes. like it ain't no tomorrow. You want to come here and blind? You going to come here and blind. You want to come here with a green wig on? You going to come here with a green wig on. It does not matter. Yeah. You going to keep it real. And that's what I respect. You know, yeah. that's why I feel like everybody at this table is supposed to be at this table. The ones who are at this table made it to this table for a specific reason mm. because we all have different personalities but we are personalities where we gonna say it how it is we may not all agree but you're gonna get a little taste of whatever it is from all of us you know what mm. i'm saying but uh enough talking man y'all ready to get to it hey. y'all ready to get to it y'all tap, ready to really get to in. it and i mean when i say get to it we not holding nothing back right y'all ready you ready you ready let's J-Boy? do it let's do it you, 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 you ready it, i'm man. ready you ready Okay. I'm, ready. I'm sorry I didn't add to the topics today. I hope they're just as juicy as mine. Oh, oh, it's going down. Oh, these topics, it's, 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 it's going down. It's okay. Going, it's, it's going down. It's going, oh, I yeah. believe it's going down. Right, you cool. know what I'm saying? All right, all right. So, 
you know before we get into the celebrity topics and really break those things down we always have a topic that we bring to the table just dealing with everyday individuals you know what i'm saying something that we face in our community something that we face in our everyday lives mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and today something that i just want to ask y'all and get y'all thoughts on is um because this is something that i see the women bring up a lot you know um so the question is a two-part question why do black men at this particular time date abroad and mm -hmm. also i want to add to it is why because this is what the women are saying okay why are a lot of black men in today's time dating outside of their race why what's the reason most other cultures are dating inside their culture for the most part 80 to 90 percent of them are but we always get the question as black men why y'all dating outside of y'all race why it's a good question what's the problem what's the issue what's wrong with us Right, right. You you say that all the yeah, time. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? In some ways, yeah. Okay, okay. In some so, ways. So 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 we're gonna we're gonna talk about it because we not scared, so we're gonna talk about it. Usually when it comes down to this topic, mainstream media, they stay away from it. Breakfast Club ain't finna get into this. I like Joe Budden, but he not even finna get into this. <laughs> but here we get into this. Because that's what the culture represents. So you know what um we're going to start with you, Queen. And the reason why we're going to start with you, the reason why we're going to start with you is because, for one, you know, as everybody see, you the only female at the table. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we hear this a lot as men. So I just want to hear you break down your thoughts on it, and then we'll kind of, you know, give our thoughts on it as well. So I want to know your thoughts on when you see, when you talking with your girls, y'all chopping it up, having conversations, they ain't nothing, they dating this way, this way, yeah. they are leaving the country, it's you know, you know, crazy yeah. names. They ain't about nothing. Well, you we, know, we, all it up. Okay. we don't even want half of y'all. <laughs> okay. Um. okay, so 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 that means I'll keep it real. So yeah. so when you talking to your girls and everything yeah. like that, I know these I know this conversation have came up before. You can't tell me it happened with your girls. You can't tell me it happened. I want to know what are your thoughts on it and what do y'all be saying when it come down to this. Well, you know, well disclaimer. I just want to put out there, love who you love, so y'all don't take it out on me. Um, <laughs> when you hear the answer, but there's a few reasons, and I mean we don't mind y'all dating outside of race. Like I said, half the time we don't even want the niggas that are dating outside of race. So goodbye. But the ones that are could have been available to us, sometimes we feel like it's a little bit of an inferiority complex between themselves and you know um, black women or African women. They feel like, you know, you know how they are. Oh, light-skinned or baddie, or you got to be this, or you got to have this kind of hair to be a certain beauty caliber. And I feel like they're trying to achieve that society. Like, oh, I got to get a mixed baddie when there's baddies in all colors. I mean, like, black is this table. So <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I think inferiority already complex most of the time, but sometimes you just fall in love with a person's character. I did see a comment the other day that said black, this is why black women can't keep a man, but we've been having this argument for a long time. Oh, you emasculate the men. The black women don't appreciate nothing. Oh, mm. they they looking for this uh, six figures and they doing it. Just all types of uh, abstract thoughts. Mm. But, but okay. Uh, okay. at the end of the day, it's something within you because if your mother is black and she look like you, then we should you should keep it that way. Don't think your mother's beautiful, but they got to go to the other side thinking that's more beautiful. That's how Sam and ended up dying over Delilah. But anyway. <laughs> hold on, hold on. How do you know they wasn't? What do you mean that's how Samson died his mom over told Delilah? Him, his mom told him to stay with the women over there. Don't go over there with the Kim Kardashians. Stay over here with the Lupito Nyangos. You didn't want to do that. First of all, Samson was messing there. with everybody. <laughs> no, no, no. But he liked Samson Delilah. Samson didn't discriminate. He didn't right? fall in love with Delilah. No, see, I'm just saying, Delilah. I'm saying Samson didn't discriminate. Right. That's what I'm saying. Samson yeah, he had, women. he messed nah. with all of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you when you in that position, Samson was go. the dude. And the when you in that position, you know what I'm saying? Hey, 95% of the women at that time was going after Samson. <laughs> Let's be real. We talk about that all the time. Yeah. How 90 to 95% of the women is going after the same man? Well, That's what was happening with Samson. So, so he had his pick. Was, he may have fell in love, but he wasn't discriminating against any of them. But Delilah you know was not saying? from his tribe, and his mother told him. A lot of them wasn't from his tribe. He but wasn't tripping. But interracial race. Dating, again, you see, it don't lead to nowhere. Sometimes these women are crazy. Y'all think they nicer than us, more listening. Oh, they're more patient, more kind. Treat me like a king. Nigga, if you acting like a king, we can treat you like a king. 
You know what's so crazy? Niggas be you know, on some you know, you know, shit. You know what's so crazy? Y'all y'all be liking to use one example. Exactly. Of a, and this is in the Bible. This ain't even nothing that we... Yes, we believe in the Bible. So, no, that was a story that, that really happened. Yeah. But I'm saying, you can never really break down a situation in real life when it comes down to, <laughs> hey, this is the reason why I'm saying this. You're going to go back to the Bible and break down Samson yeah, and Delilah. But 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 most of the example. time, but most of the time, like a situation we're going to talk about, when you hear about these situations, it's a black woman with a black man. It's very typical where something crazy happened, you know, um, um, in, in everyday news where it's a somebody of a different race and, and a black man. I'm not saying it don't happen. Yeah. I'm just saying for the most part, it's a black man and a black woman. Yeah. So why you don't ever talk about those ones? Well, you always want to, oh, oh let me find that one. <laughs> <laughs> we're not worried about black we, love we right we now. We're talking okay. about interracial love. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, well, what's your thoughts on it, bro? Like, why do you believe, for one, women say that uh do you think that is true and 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 you know what are your thoughts on you know black man dating outside of their race well me personally i love all 50 shades you know what i'm saying 50 shades of gray you know? <laughs> like <laughs> no, you got saying. on today <laughs> <laughs> exactly but uh look i ain't gonna lie like you know what i'm saying uh shit like i said i love all shades you know i don't discriminate but uh facts but you know, it's just something about, you know, I don't know, I'm just I'm just different. Sometimes I like something different, you know? Like I, you know, I I know I am black, you know what I'm saying? So me being with other black women, sometimes it's like, it's nothing new I'm learning, you know what I'm saying? We both like soul food. We both like, <laughs> both like the same music, you know what I'm saying? We both even dress almost the same, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, you know, our style, the way we dress, it, everything is kind of like, we see eye to eye too much in a way where it's like, it's, you know, I'm not exper mm. experiencing nothing new. You yeah. feel me? So mm. I'm just saying, with me, when I date outside my race, I'm actually seeing new things. I'm learning a different language. Mm. I'm over here learning how they they, they food taste. You know, uh, mm. I'm also you know hearing about they you know uh, they uh, what you call it like you know they 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 family morals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How they live, and sometimes Basically I see how they about their culture, their culture. You know and when yeah. I see that too, it, it gives me a bright idea like how I should be how we should be handling things in our family sometimes i'm like damn our family do this and that but i see their family they got more love they do mm. this and that and they share they don't care they always help each other and sometimes you see a big mm. difference when other you learn something from another family you know what i'm saying from other cultures sometimes that mm -hmm. you can kind of like add to who you are to your family too so i yeah. mean uh, it's a lot of that bro uh also you know uh i'm not gonna lie i'm just keeping honest i mean you know me you know i, I like latino women's too i like a lot of latinos and uh they willing to do really anything in that bedroom too it's just oh, it's Lord. a big Here difference go. i'm not even gonna lie it's a big difference in a bedroom you know versus you know a latino versus a a, a black woman or age i mean it's you know I, i'm just trying to say i experience different situations you know what i'm saying Where, you know, they okay. kinda, yeah it's you know it's kind of experience yeah it's you know like they want to do anything you feel me okay. you know okay. you know okay. sometimes oh, okay. the black girl i don't want to mess with my hair i don't i ain't gonna do that that's not they think everything is nasty and it's like come on you feel me? I mean, if, if I'm with you, hey, you attracted to me, if we're going to get freaky, let's get freaky. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? If not, then it's like, all right, this is going to throw me off a little bit. Like, ah, right, let me find someone that's willing to do it. You know what I'm saying? And ready to go all the way oh, to the, wow. to the limit. You know what this I'm saying? I mean, lot. hey, that's what man look for <laughs> I mean, sometimes. he keeping it real. That's his you know? experience. He just keeping <laughs> hey, it real. Honestly, you know, that, that's, that's what, what we ask for and keep it real. If, you know what I'm saying? If a woman ain't really to take it there. respect that. If a woman ain't ready to take it there like that, I mean, because... I ain't gonna lie, like, I'm the type, you know, I, 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 I wanna do everything to my woman where she won't have to learn that or, or experience that through no other man. You feel me? I wanna give her everything where she did everything with me to the, to the point where it's like, if she, do, if, she, if she ever do leave me, the only thing she gonna do is miss me because she's gonna be like, damn, I miss us doing this and doing that. You know, I'm not seeing that anymore. It's a big difference, me being out there away from him. So it's gonna make her be like, oh, I miss him. I want to come back. Sometimes you just want to give your woman everything, you know, take her everywhere, you know, yeah. give her everything, you know, just so that way if she do leave, the only, only thing she's going to do is everywhere else she goes, she, she's just going to remind her of, of you. Yeah, be thinking you know? about you. She's yeah, going to be thinking about you. Saying. I get what so, you're saying. So, yeah, that's how I see it, though. But okay. uh, I'll leave it at that. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, that makes sense, you know, and everything like that. I mean, like I said, that's your experience, you know, yeah, just yeah. like the things you yeah. was talking about with your, it was your no, experience. No, that wasn't my experience. I, I was just speaking. <laughs> <laughs> but what he was well, talking, go ahead. <laughs> well, 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 we'll get that. If you have an experience, exactly we'll get later. that. But, but I, I got a two-part answer to this, you know, uh, topic and everything like that. The first thing I say, which I have to do with myself, um, you know, we come up in L.A. You know, we come up in a very diverse community. When it come down to L.A., when it come down to California in general, right? And I always say, you know, I come from a very big family. My grandparents had 
18 kids. Yeah. It's a lot of us cousins, right? And when it comes down to our family, you see all type of different races. Ma the majority of my uncles, including you know my dad, dated outside of their race and then married outside of their race. So you see cousins that's mixed with black and Hispanic, black and white, mm -hmm. black and Hawaiian, black and that. You see a little bit of everything. So growing up, I never, I never thought that it mattered. I never thought that, oh, I better be with a black woman or I better be with this race. I never thought about that. I'm like, hey, we all date who we want to date. And I'm yeah. talking about as a 10, 11 year old kid, just to be real and break it down even more. I never forget in the fifth grade, you know, uh, the school that I went to in Inglewood, it was only two Hispanic girls in the whole school. I was going after the two Hispanic girls oh, that Lord. was at the so school. You started there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't. I didn't think about it. I wasn't like, "Oh man, I don't want to date no black girl." It, that never hit my head. I just saw the two Hispanics, and, and I'm like, "Okay, I'm, I'm going up over oh, there." Wow. You know what wow. I'm saying? That's just what happened. It had nothing to do with race. So when it come down to us, we wasn't taught that you just have to be with this, yeah. or you should be with that. You know, we wasn't taught that. You know, my grandfather was a pastor. My grandfather was, you know, if we brought in someone who we loved. He was like, okay, cool. Yeah. It wasn't, you know, even though my grandmother was black too, yeah. he never was like, hey, you know, you need to go and look at them black women. You know, he never <laughs> said any of that. Oh, okay. He accepted whoever came in that house and whoever you was with. Yeah. So I didn't start to really hear about those things until I got a little older. I'm like, oh, okay, this is really a problem. Like, you know, a lot of the, you know, black women really seeing this as an issue, you know, when it mm -hmm. come down to it. Because I'm not going to lie. Once I started to get a little older, 18, 19, 20, you hear a little church from your aunties. Yeah. Why y'all not bringing on black girls you home? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I mean, I mean, yeah. it, 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 they are telling yeah. the truth. I just never thought about it. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? You know, so, I mean, you know, when it come down to it, we was we never thought like, hey, you got to have a reason on why. You know, you dating outside of your race. But I will say this. This is the second part to it. I will say this. Because at the end of the day, um, we're men and we talk to men and we hear things from men all the time mm -hmm. when it comes down to it. You know, um, let's be real. Because we talk about these type of things here. When it comes down to men, men want as close as they could get to tradition as possible, right? When it comes down to a woman. Men is always like that. Because biologically as a man, it's certain things that you want as a man, right? So... Yeah. Even though we're in a different time and, and men and women is very different now, you want as closest to tradition as it, even women. Women want what? I want, want a man. Stability. It, stability. Protection. Protection. And love. Uh, love. You yes, know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, says, uh, uh, a man that's going to be. Don't leave yeah. our provider. Provider. That's yeah, all traditional. Okay, so that's yeah, all traditional. When it comes down to men, men want what? Femininity. You know, a woman that's going to, uh, 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 you know, be there to support him. You know what I'm saying? You know, let's even say the typical things that everybody be talking about, cooking, clean, whatever. These are the type of things that men are looking for in a woman when he gets with a woman. Rather, you want to say, say it or not. These are the things biologically that we want as men and women, right? So let's break it down and let's just be real. Like I say, I'm a man and I talk to a lot of men and these are the things that men say. And you may even agree. When it comes down to where we're at right now as a community, for the most part, when it, I respect the, what, the the direction that black women are going in with the, how hard they work, the grind, the degrees. Right. You know, black women is on another level right now. Right. You know what Thank I'm saying? God Inclu that including including that. one of them is my mother. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Hardworking woman. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can't tell her nothing. She getting her back. You know, no, no man can come into her world and, and, and do anything for her. She could do it all herself, right? Mm -hmm. But let's go back to the traditional aspect. A lot of things that men are looking for Let's say femininity. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. A lot of women, they lose femininity and start to go towards masculinity when they're out there hustling and grinding like men. Right. But so, they have to. Though. So I'm not saying, look, look I'm In not saying that you don't have to. Have I'm not to. saying that you okay. don't have to. I'm just saying that's one aspect that you start to lose that men are looking for mm -hmm. that now puts you in a position where you like, oh, we're the men that I won at. When those men is like, well, when it come down to these other cultures out here, they not losing that. They keeping a femininity. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's very important to us as men. It have nothing to do with uh, uh, what well, race, white, Hispanic, you know, Puerto Rican. It have nothing to do with any of that. It have everything to do with what I want as a man. Traditionally, I'm not getting out of you. And a lot of black women, let's just be real, are losing that femininity aspect. Don't get me wrong. They gaining in the financial department. They gaining. And when it comes down to gaining ground 
against men when having independence and all of that. Let's, I, I give that to women. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? In fact, I respect that. I say it all the time. I would rather work with a, a woman than a man any day. You know what I'm saying? Because women gonna give you give you uh, their all. They they gonna do everything they got to do to you know get that bag and, mm-hmm. and also help you meet your goals, right? But I'm just saying when it comes down to a relationship, it's different. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to date and be with my business partner. <laughs> I don't want to date and be with somebody who I'm talking about business with 24 hours a day. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Why can't it be all encompassed in one? I'm not saying that it can't. I'm and, just. And why is it just black women that that? Um, are losing these femininity, femini- femininity values. <laughs> well, I, I'm right. just I, no, well, I'm just saying that we're. I mean, for one, you see it in a, not just the divorce rate, but the the single part when it comes down to the percentage of black women that are married or in a relationship is yeah. very very low because most. Let's just be real. Compared most to most women, women, when it comes down to our culture, is going after the bag. They're going yeah. after education. Yeah. They're going after careers. Yes. And, and, and it's mainly, for the most part, focused in our community. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it ain't, we ain't saying, like, you know, uh, 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 men just don't want to date black women. I'm saying when it comes down traditionally to what men want in a woman, black women are losing those traits mm. when it comes down to what a man wants. You know, let's also talk about the other traits that they lose it. Okay. Um, being agreeable yeah you know what i'm saying um being fully supportive the way a man will want you to be supportive now let's break down those the reason that women are losing those i believe those are unintentional traits that they are, are losing they're not intentionally trying to do those things but when you focus solely on what you're trying to do and how you're doing it you can't be as supportive as you probably will want to be or the man will want you to be in that relationship mm-hmm. you focused on your goals and what you're doing right also too if you focused on going out there and grinding and everything like that you're going to become less agreeable you know what I'm saying? And everything like that. Cause you like, hey, I, I run my own show. Right. I set my own rules. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, and then well, let's go down and break down the things like, hey, the things that women like to hear, cooking and cleaning. When you a woman out there grinding and doing what you gotta do every day, you gonna look at him like we could go 50 50 on some cooking and cleaning. I ain't about to be doing that all the time. I'm out working just like you do. Right. Let's just be real. So that's what I'm saying. When you start to lose those traits that a man won't traditionally, Mm -hmm. men start to say, well, let me look in other angles and directions because this ain't working over here for me anymore. So it have nothing to do with men just (laughs) not wanting to date black women. Men is not getting what they want in relationships out of black women Women nowadays. And and, and, and that's just where we're at, you know? So Women aren't either though. So, I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying that yeah. y'all y'all don't have something on y'all, and I'm just saying yeah. because this is what we hear. We okay. don't typically hear a uh, uh, black man saying why these women are dating outside of their race. We don't hear that. We yeah. hear a lot of the black men dating outside of their race. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Why they starting to go abroad and everything like that? Because men want as close as tr- to tradition as they possibly could get. And when you start to go abroad, you really start getting even more closer to tradition. You know, so that's why you start to see a lot of men going and, and leaving Men's the country. Is, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm just saying what it is. Look, look. All, mm-hmm. Only thing that I'm doing, I'm keeping it real, right? On a, let's, I'm keeping it real on the cancel culture show, baby. That's hey, all I'm doing. I'm not trying to hold back figure. from y'all. So I'm saying <laughs> once you start to see this wave of men leaving the country, it's only for one reason. And I'm just going to be real. It's for one reason. It's because men want as closest to tradition as they could get. And right now where we're at in the U.S., you're not getting no tradition. It's wow. no tradition here anymore. You know, wow. now you still get it in some type of way when it comes down to other communities. Like, you know, the Asian community have a strong tradition and culture yeah. that they don't lose even if they're out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it ain't no young Asian girls out there that's not trying to rip and run. Like, you know, <laughs> no, they are. You know what I'm saying? I see them on you the know, uh, too. Uh, uh, I'm not saying that it's not. I'm not, uh-huh. I'm not even saying it's not. But I'm saying that, you know, they do a good they do a good job on keeping their tradition as closest to them as possible. They try. Same thing when it comes down to other cultures like, you know, Hispanics or, you know, uh, um, you know, um, you start to go into Middle Easterns and yep. everything like that, right? Africans. Yeah, Afri- yeah. Africans, Nigerians yeah. and everything, you know, they, so they yeah. still keep a lot of that even though, though even if they're out here, right. you know, but when it comes down to our community, let's be real, right now, we we call it culture when it comes down to hip hop and everything but like that. Really which, which, no which, which 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 it which it is. But when it comes down to the roots of who we are as people, we don't have culture yeah. at this point in time. Mm-hmm. 
and, 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 and us as black people. No, not y'all. Us. Yeah, us. You're a part of that. Well, no, <laughs> well, 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 I get it. Cause I get it. <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, break, well, break down why you said it, because I want okay. people to know who okay. don't know. Break down well, why well, you yeah. said it. Well, I'm Nigerian, first generation. So my yeah. family came from Nigeria. The mother, father, everybody, family still live in Nigeria. You know, we go back and forth. I mean, obviously, living in the Western world, growing up in the Western world, you're going to adopt the little cultures and things around you so that's where i get all the nigga from but don't get it twisted <laughs> like it's still the same rules still apply you know in that in the way they think and the way you come up and things that you have to do to remain you know cultural or you i mean even if you try to shy away from like you know what you was raised on it's like uh it doesn't feel right yeah, there's really yeah. no culture to assimilate here yeah like you yeah. said like what culture do y'all really have you know what i mean yeah yeah and yeah, I mean, we all want to mingle, but I don't know. They don't even consider themselves black. Yeah. <laughs> Nigerians don't. But you know yeah. what I mean? I mean, you know, because the culture is missing. But one thing that I can but say, though, mm -hmm. is that no matter what, being in the U.S., they look at you as a black woman. Oh, yeah, of course. No matter of what, course. as an American paper, black yeah, woman. Yeah, of course. You know, so so you, you still go through a lot of the same right, things that right. we go black through as American right. black individuals That's true. That's you true. know what i'm saying but yeah. but anything that i said though and, and you could you know um you know say what you got to say along the mm -hmm. line of it too bro did i say anything that sound like it's false or something that we don't notice when it comes okay you as a man when it come down to tradition is that what you see as well when it come down to men men is not getting what they want in these relationships from women when it come <laughs> down to biologically what we want as men is that what you are seeing as well I see that too, but also think like it's a lot of people that out there that's um, a lot of men out there that's not really looking for a relationship too. There's it's a lot of men that just out there just want to just be single, just be a bachelor. Exactly. So 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 that's why, I, but that's why I put in the part is what I'm trying to say. Like the mother races, they more they got more of a freakier side than black women. <laughs> I mean, why you think somebody like Drake that wasn't looking to have a baby, but he went overseas, messed around with a Middle Eastern, and they have a baby, and they had ended up having a baby with her. You know what I'm saying? Right. Why wasn't it a black girl? Why was it? A Middle Eastern girl overseas. Why you think? Because she's more freaky. She got on top of Drake, and Drake was like, dang, I can't hold it back. You know what I'm saying? She did that freakiness <laughs> that made him, oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, and then she ended up popping out a little baby, you know? Yeah, but yeah. I'm just trying to say, like, I mean, of course, the, uh, the, uh, woo, the tradition side, bro, we looking for. But for the men out there that's bachelors, not, not really looking for a woman, the wife up. They looking for more of that who's gonna put it down in the bedroom. But well, why well, would well, they be looking well, for that? That's well, 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 well no, I, I don't want us to get lost in what we talking about. So, so this, this was basically based off of a man looking for relationship. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of women say, well, men long term are dating. They're looking for women outside of their race that are not black. So that's what I'm talking. I'm not talking about just freelancing everybody out here freelancing. I'm talking about more going along the line of men when they start to look for a relationship. When they looking for that woman to be with, dating or leading to marriage, they're going outside of their race. That's what the women say. So I'm yeah. saying, when it come down to it, do you also feel that's one of the, that's one of the strong reasons on why? Because when it come down to what a man wants, which yeah. is biologically in us as men, because the man we want to be the leaders and we want a woman who's gonna treat us just like that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Men are going towards, hey, where am I gonna get that when it come down to a woman? Where am I going to get a woman who's going to be as closest to tradition as possible when it comes to what I Serious want as a man? man? Well, yeah, I agree with that. You know, men that are looking for relationships that's trying to get married, of course, they're looking for more, you know, traditional women. You know, that's a that's an A plus. No matter what the race is. That's, no matter what the race is. Yeah. No matter what. Well, uh, they're, they're, so they're not, some of them have stopped like Terrell Owens even looking our way. So we can't say no matter what the race is. Some of them have already said, I only like this shade. Vanilla is me, you know? So uh, that's cap. We we I I mean I hope that. it's cap, but that's what <laughs> it's not it's not proving cap because that's what they live in and that's what they're doing and that's how they talking you know. Look so, at it. Look at it like this though. Clint. Look at it like this though. Mm -hmm. All the things that Terrell Owen said have to do with tradition. Oh, they was nice to me. You know, they they treated me oh cool. Gosh. You know, I'm I'm just saying. You know, they 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 smile when you know I, I went to you know go and approach them and everything like that. These are all things that have to do with what men want traditionally. Uh -huh. You know, agreeable, nice. You know what I'm saying? You know, things like that. Those are the things that goes into tradition for men. Right. You know, so that so at the end of the day, it always goes back to tradition. No matter yeah. what, if you really break, start to really break down when a man say, "This is what I look for in a woman." 
it all have to do with tradition. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's what I'm saying. Um, it don't have nothing to do with just the race because if men were getting those things, black men, and I'm, I'm talking about black men specifically right now. Okay. If black men were getting those things, when it come down to black women, I, I, I'm telling you this straight up, black men would probably prefer to be with a black woman. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like what, what Terrell Owens was saying, if you want to go to Terrell Owens, he was saying straight up, all the black women who I was getting at and, 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 and you know, approaching, they was laughing at me. They was like, you too skinny, you scrawny. You know what I'm saying? Talking mess about them. You know, so he then left and went outside of his race to go and try to find and, yeah. what he was looking for. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Black men would prefer that. But a lot of black men is not getting what they are okay. looking for. Well, let me ask you a question. What are black women getting from the black men that we're looking for? Because that list can get long too. You know what I mean? Where there, uh, There's a lot of men with no future, no guidance, no direction. And that caps a lot of percentage of black men. Like we said, it's the black women in college getting the degrees and, and aiming high and getting higher salaries. What are the men doing so that the women can choose them more or want that more? Because... It's not just about what the men want. We don't care. At the end of the day, they don't even want a nigga. They don't even want a man. Some of these girls are like, I don't even want a man. <laughs> like that's because how they don't have that option. Are. Let's be real. No, like, no, no it's because men have scarred women to the point where some women feel like it's not even worth dealing with the headache because men are a headache, especially if they're not on the right. I get path. it. That's what I'm saying because so, that's it's not fair. That's I, I'm saying they get mm -hmm. to that point because of that, not because deeply they never wanted that. Okay, it's because it's not there. But going back to your question, see. We, we was, yeah, with this question focused on, because women say this a lot of times, why men date outside of their race and everything like that. But to break down what you just said, first and foremost, you know I'm with you when you said if the man is not prepared to be in a relationship, right. if he's not a man that's out there that turned into a provider and have a foundation and he's ready to date, I say it all the time, dude, don't date yet. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Dating is not for everybody. And if you start dating too early, you're going to put yourself in bad predicaments that's going to have you alone out here not really figuring out your, excuse my friend, shit the way a man really <laughs> should before he get into a relationship. And now you lost that 30, 35, and 40 years old because you was solely focused on relationships and women not really having your stuff together yet. So I'm with you with that. Mm -hmm. But if you really want to break down that outside of those dudes, I say it all the time. Women are going after something that is not there. A lot of times nowadays when it comes down to the U.S., a lot of women want something that is outside of this world. That's why you got 90% of women going after only 10% of men because women want, oh, I want a dude who's making over six figures. I want a dude making 150 k 200000 <laughs> All of this other type of crap where it's like, hey, what about the, all the good men? You know what I'm saying? 50% of black men, when mm -hmm. it comes down to it, what about those 50% of black men that are single and childless that have everyday jobs, you know what I'm saying, working the nine to five, but they go to work every day? Yeah. What about those men that a lot of women are canceling out? You know, yeah. a lot of y'all women throw those men in the trash. So those are a lot, a lot of times are the men that saying, well, let me date outside of my race because they're not paying me no attention because they waiting for Drake. They waiting in line for this dude over here making 100000 they waiting in line for this dude over here making 500000 They not worried about me with my, you know, 70 k a year job, you know, and everything like that. So you can't just put that on men when you have not opened up the opportunity for all men to come and, and, and get to know him a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So that's all I'm saying at the end of the day. A lot of women close the doors mm -hmm. on the majority of men out there that are ready to be in a serious relationship mm -hmm. solely on the fact of what they're making. That's the problem. Well, it could be a little bit of a problem, but that's hey, all I'm saying. You're right, but women want to aim high. Let them aim high. Aim like high, Tyler but then Perry don't said, complain. Aim high if you want to. You know, they got their board and list of what they want, and if that's a six figure man, then hey, who's to tell they can't get that? Shoot for the stars. <laughs> yeah, like so, I always say, shoot for the stars. Hey, but don't complain later. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> like, shoot for the stars, don't but don't <laughs> complain when you're 40, 45, and don't got a ring on your finger because he of might. what you was looking for. That's all I'm saying. It can happen. I'm not yeah. saying it cannot happen. Dreams are possible. Yeah. I'm just saying don't complain later because the dudes you were going after mm -hmm. were dudes who had five, six, seven, eight girls on the side. And you wasn't uh -huh. opening up the door, giving the blue collar dudes the opportunity who were mm -hmm. good, hardworking dudes making 70, 80K a year. Right. That's all I'm saying. Just don't complain about it, mm -hmm. you know? 
So, right. so you know, I give it to you when you say dudes out here that are not prepared and ready for relationships. But a lot of the dudes who are, women are not paying them no attention, especially in our community. Because let's be real, and you see this all the time. You know, we date our side of our race as well. So we see this all the time. When it comes down to Hispanics, even Caucasians, Middle Easterns, and all of them, rather the dude is making 40000 or 80000 they dating they man, huh? Oh yeah, <laughs> they date, I mean, they man, yeah. they date. What? Look, I'll put like this. I'll put like this, bro. Let's break this down. Yeah, let me because they don't get it. They don't get it. This. They are telling you. You can't tell me you ain't never seen this before because we see it all the time. We live in Los Angeles, so you ain't never drove down the street. It's probably down the street <laughs> right now. You can see a Hispanic guy. At the corner selling oranges, and you're gonna see his wife right next yeah. to him. Well, yeah, 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 and they yeah, sell the oranges yeah. together, right? Yeah, of course. We're of course. Facts. So making you, you 20k a year together. Exactly. <laughs> probably less than I that. <laughs> but not giving a fuck. <laughs> and they got a whole family. I know. You know, probably got seven, eight kids too with them. Oh my <laughs> Period. God. Period. Well, that's real. You know what I'm saying? So, so, and Perfect we, example. and we also see this when it come down to the, the uh, uh, Caucasians as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you see them with each other, no matter what they're making, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 K. It doesn't matter. They're dating their own, yeah. no matter what. They're not just looking at that aspect. They looking at what type of man is he? And is this a man that I could build a family with? They're not solely looking at, is this dude making over 100K? We just sat at this table with <laughs> hundreds of girls That's where they'll sit there and tell you straight up, if he not making six figures, I'm not even dating him. Yeah. Not even yeah. giving him a yeah. chance. I'm not looking at him. Yeah. Well, that dude, that dude can't touch yeah, me with his pinky. You know that's true. That's tight. Because you, you know yeah. you would not that's see a I'm black saying. guy selling yeah. oranges yeah. with his wife. Right there. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not at all. You would never see that. She you would not. never see that. She but guess what? But you she shouldn't even have to though. It's not. No, no, I'm it, just saying. We're yeah. just talking. I'm, we're yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we're no, just I saying. Know. This is why they don't have that problem in in those other communities. But let's say let let's think about this though. You all both been at tables where we had a lot of people sitting at this table. Why do you think when we have this conversation? You always see the white girls and the Hispanic girls get quiet. Yeah. Because they're like, well, I never thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wasn't why, why thinking about never... him making 100000 and everything like that. Yeah. It's always the black woman at the table saying, well, he got to make over 100 k I'm, I'm not dealing with that and everything. <laughs> but the white and Hispanic girls be looking like them like, wow. For real? We've been through uh, well, and they'll be like, well, my, my guy, he makes about 60, 65. I mean, that's cool for me. You know, uh, you know, I work too. They'll tell you that straight <laughs> up. So we, we got to be accountable. This is what these conversations are for. So we could be accountable and right. responsible for what we put out there in the way we think. That's yeah. why I say when it comes down to us in our community, we got to start rethinking and relearning everything that we thought was right. The things that a lot of single women were taught by their mothers and grandmothers that were probably single as well. You got to lose all of that mental state. Yeah. You got to let that go and start to ask men, what do y'all want? Yeah. If you really want a serious relationship, ask men. Well, Won't you go sit down with some of the dudes around you who you respect and ask them, hey, don't hold back. What is it that you would want in a woman? When it come down to it. And don't lie. Just tell me the honest truth. Don't tell me, well, I just want somebody who could do this and a woman who's going to be a leader too and everything. Don't do that. Say, tell me the truth. Tell yeah. me what you want in a woman. Mm -hmm. Because I have not saw you date women like me, even though we're cool. You know what I'm right. saying? So that's what women need to start doing. Go in and stop asking their friends, their girlfriends, and their single mothers and everything like that. What is it that man want? And go ask a man. Well, what he want well, you know what i'm saying or at least man. or at least a woman who's been married over 10 years don't ask a fiance or a woman who just got married definitely not a <laughs> single woman but i would say talk to men and women who've been married over 10 years because they know how to keep it going because they've been married for a decade now you know what i'm saying but okay, what was you gonna say no, yeah no that makes sense just don't ask men like Kevin Samuels. Rest in peace. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Here we go. But she got to go after the everybody, goat. Everybody, huh? see, that, see, the fact that you just called him the goat, they're going to cancel go you. After the goat. He just called Kevin that was Samuels disrespectful, the goat. man. Let the man rest I in did. peace. I did. I said rest in peace. Rest in peace to Kevin nah, Samuels. Yeah, you man. can't talk about I it. I said rest in peace. You can't shit on his you, name you, and then you, say yeah, rest in yeah, peace. Yeah, you can't yeah. ask Going people like that because his opinions is throw the, the women of age in the trash throw mature wise women in the trash michael Not, michael oh, jordan and kobe well, you only a four look. you a five michael jordan was married look, to no no this is no i was i wasn't gonna say i was gonna kobe, say my, no 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 yeah. i was gonna I, mean, I was gonna say michael kobe jordan stopped. and kobe did not <laughs> michael jordan and kobe did not make every shot so I'm not saying exactly. Kevin Samuels was perfect. Yeah, I'm just saying a lot of things that he said is 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 reality, realistic, and he was going off of facts and statistics. <laughs> so saying? we can't get mad at the dude for doing that. Yeah, I'm not saying everything he said was just perfect and right. Every nobody's right. Nobody's right, but God, a hundred percent of the time. So I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the dude he had a point, and that's why every Some week point. he had hundreds. I'm bro. 
Every week he had what? Hundreds of girls. Oh, it wasn't yeah. dudes. Oh, yeah. Hundreds of girls waiting to get on the phone with him. Oh, yeah. Because they like, Hundreds. what he's saying is right. Yeah. And the men that we're losing, they're not telling us this. So we got to get the answers from him. They needed help. Whether we like it or not. They ran so, to him for help. So you can't be mad at a dude okay. where they was going they at him, him asking him. him what was up. I hope you know everybody don't want to get married no more. And so. actually, you helped a lot of them yeah, women, too. Yeah, yeah. A lot we're of women in place. Place. getting married, all yeah. that, and them finding someone. Yeah. And knowing what to do. Yeah. Right. He was helping yeah, the women yeah. out. He, he was like, him. hey, he was. he was telling the women the, the places to go to where they can meet men, yeah, how to talk to men, how to dress. He was helping with me. He had out. a meeting group oh, on Facebook. Yeah. Ooh, and, 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 a, and, a couple of, and a couple of people met and got married from his meeting group. Because mm-hmm. he said he was pushing, you know, marry within six six months to a year. Yeah. Don't go past the year. I know. And they was marrying that quick. You know what wow. I'm saying? And everything like that. So he was, where else do we see anything like that? Nah. So he was trying to get, when it comes down to the black community, he was trying to get us together. And everything like that. It just didn't, you know, he he, uh, he had an untimely demise and everything like yeah. that. You know, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. But he was going in the right direction. And I feel like it was so much good that would have been done if he was still here when it come down to our community. Because he was getting to a place where people was like, you know what? Let me just hear what he got to say. I'm starting to respect it a lot more. You start to see that even from the yeah. black women. Well, you know, and everything thanks. like that. You know, so... Yeah. You know, hey, we 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 let's let's leave Kevin Samuels All alone. Right. He was, I was just he saying. was going he he was he was doing what he had to do, you know. But when it come down to us, <laughs> we need to have these conversations more as people. Yeah. So ladies, do not be afraid to ask a man what he want. Don't be afraid to sit down with your brothers, your cousins, your 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 your, your pops or whoever's around you and say, "Look, I need to know the real. Don't hold back no more. I don't care what world we in right now. I need to know what's going to help me get a man." I can't just listen to my girlfriends and, and my single mother and everything like that <laughs> who didn't remarry. You remarried, Dad, and you've been married now for the last 10, 15 years. Mother did not. Yeah. I can't listen to her no more. That's crazy. So I got to hear what you got to say. Now, dad's always remarried, yeah, even mean, if they was the problem. Hey, Women bro, so desperate. I said it straight up. In, my, in, in our family, all the uncles remarried and none of the aunties remarried, right? That's crazy. Except but for you one. said your mom remarried. If, except for one. Yeah. All the uncles remarried. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All in their 40s remarried. Yeah. No, no, 50s. Fit, not even 40s, are, are, 50s, remarried. So where's the first All the wives? women, Hold on. still single. Where's yep. the first wives? Okay, so where are they, what they doing? Single. What they on? I know, single. but is that by choice? Is it because they... The no, it's never by choice. Yeah, that is not you know, true. no, it's never. No, 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 no. We gotta understand something. Women, <sighs> women want relationship, especially at a, at an older age, even more than men. So a lot of times, women that are fifty and over are not single and unmarried by choice. Let's be real, especially at that age, you want a companion. I, don't let me break down no, the the, the nursing facilities that I go to and what these elderly go. women no, are saying. No, okay, Paul, then let's not go there. Sukiyana let's say? not go there. What did Suki say? Then, then hear what I'm saying when okay. I say when it come down to it, women do not want to be by themselves. I'm just saying because as a man, let's be old, let's get, let's get real. Because the things that women want is a provider, right? And we're going to get off of this in a little yeah. bit. I just want to break this down one one, one one more step to break down when it come down yeah. to this. When it come down to women, the reason why men at an early at an older age is able to still go out there and get married just like they're in their 20s, probably even more, is because for one, women want something that men get as they get older and get more of it as they get older. Mm-hmm. Which is what? Less money. Less, become less more costume. of a provider. As you get older less as a man, as, as, as you, <laughs> I, I get it. You want to have fun with it, but I'm giving facts, okay? <laughs> as men get older, you become even more of a provider. You know, the younger yeah. you are, the less of a provider you are. The older you are, the more of a provider you become. So that's one thing that the women get, and that's why it's intriguing and interesting to date an older man. That's one. Okay, the second yeah. thing is, let's just be real. Let's go to fertility. Men still can have kids well into their 50s. We have an uncle who just had a kid at, what, 57? Mm-hmm. 56, 57? You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, so men still are having kids okay. up until, you know, past their 60s. They having them. Okay. You know, uh, uh, for the most part, I'm not saying they can't, but... 40 and un, you know at 40 it's, it kind of start to get the door start to kind of close for for women you know what yeah, i'm saying hey don't don't, no, don't don't no. blame menopausal me. don't blame I'm, I'm i'm just i'm putting the Menopause information out there I'm, inform- I'm, informatically begins from 45 beyond no i'm average. saying the majority on yeah. the on the majority but that's why because i because i can say because look you can have a kid at 40 41 the, 42 43 you can i'm saying the majority and the reason why okay. i'm breaking this down because let's be real when it come down to our family babies was happening popping it wasn't nothing that was going to stop it right but the majority of the women probably 90 95 percent of them after 40 did not have kids all the men did let's break down all the uncles they all had kids but after they 40. all remarried all the women did said. not 
I'm no, and I'm just saying the uh -huh. women, but but the women did not have kids after forty, no right. matter what. No matter, okay. So I'm just saying it's different. So we can't say that uh, uh, all they got to do is this or that. No, it's not going to work for everybody. I'm not saying some women right. don't. Right. I'm just saying for the majority women, they're not having kids after forty. Right. So that's what I'm saying. That's another aspect on why men is still dating and getting married well into their forties and fifties mm -hmm. because they're able to do these things. They're able to still provide. Right. In fact, they're providing better. And they're mm -hmm. able to still have kids. So a young woman ain't okay, you're older, but you know, we still can have a family. So that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's not the same. So that's why I said these conversations are important to have because I think early on women need to talk to the ones who they should talk to that is most important to talk to. Don't just listen to the single women. You know, <laughs> 18, 19, and 20, if you gotta go look for the the men around you who you respect are the married women, go run and talk to them and get the answers that you need. Mm -hmm. But I think women talking with each other is helping more women become single and be more single. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, if they're giving bad advice. But. Si mm -hmm. If a single girl that need advice go and talk to a bunch <laughs> of single women, she's gonna stay single. That's a fact. Well, how are they gonna help her get married when they not married and they looking to get married? In fact, they're her competition. Let's be real. They're her competition. Don't give yourself They're vows. competing with each other. <laughs> that single 21-year-old going to talk to those 35-year-olds, they're looking at her like, oh, she's our competition. Mm -hmm. The same dude we looking for, she's looking for. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So what you think? They're about to break it down and show you how to get married when they trying to get married their own dang self? Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Let's be That's real. Facts. Let's be real. Nah, well, it don't work like okay. that. But... But, you know, these are the type of conversations yeah, of I think course. that we need to have. It's, it's good conversations, you know. And and, and, and and you know you don't have that. We ain't going into your personal. But you don't have those problems anyway, so you good. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, so exactly. I'm trying to school them, but they ain't trying to listen. I've been trying to tell them, all right. <laughs> oh, man. One day you got to sit there myself, just give them a little bit. You know, yeah, they're breaking down for them. Saying? All right, man. Y'all ready to get into some of these topics? Yes. Oh, that wasn't a topic. <laughs> that better be one because that, 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 one, that, that, that one was long. <laughs> it was it was a topic, but I'm talking the everyday, the media oh, okay. topics. You yeah. know what I'm saying, and everything like that. So, um, the first thing I'm gonna get into, and I don't know if y'all saw any of it, but the uh, Joe Budden and Drake beef after Drake put out his his last album. Yes. It, a beef started because <laughs> Joe Budden criticized mm -hmm. Drake's album, and Drake did not like it. So I'll break it down a little bit. So uh, Drake has fired back. At Joe Budden's criticism of for all the dogs and his knack for catering music to a younger audience. On Saturday, the sixth God had a lengthy response for the pump it up rapper who criticized him for alienating his older audience and catering to the younger generation. The Toronto megastar took several shots at Budden, claiming he's a failure mm -hmm. and a quitter. This is like some of the stuff that he wrote on the um the Instagram post and everything. So what he said was, you have failed at music, Drizzy wrote under a post from DJ Academics that featured a clip of Joe Budden talking about Drake. You left it behind to do what you are doing in this clip called, cause this is what actually pays your bills. For any artist watching this, just remember you are watching a failure give their opinion on his idea of a recipe for success. A quitter give their opinion on how to achieve longevity. He continued, you switch careers. Because the things that pop into your brain had you broke living check to check and the raps you write had 450 men showing up to your shows in dusty and these jeans to screw up their face mm -hmm. to mo mo uh, mood music 29 and pretend mm -hmm. you are great. <laughs> Drake, Drake then gave advice to artists who are doing what they want to do regardless of what people think about them. According to the 36 year old, Button is the poster child of frustration. Please, to any artist that's doing what they feel is right, don't let these opinions affect your mindset after the fact. This guy is a poster child of frustration and surrendering, he wrote. You retired and you never hung up your jersey. We don't even remember your number. We know you for doing this. You withdrew from rap, not because you accomplished all you need to. It's because it wasn't working for you. He continued, I never went to anybody in this generation to think that the whole everybody's entitled to their opinion. It's a real thing. This is a man projecting his own self-hate and the fact I did and continue to do everything he wanted to do for himself. If you need it to be put into simp simpler terms, I own the 767. He owns a modest house in the 973. 
Wait, what did what did Joe Budden say again? It flies first cast on special occasions. What did Joe Budden say? Again? So, uh, well, Joe Budden, Budden basically he said that um, stop making music for the younger audience, make music for people your age. He's, oh, you know what I'm saying? That's what he's basically oh, saying. Okay, you know, he yeah. said Drake music is young. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to keep up with what the younger generation <laughs> is doing. You know, doing music with, you know what I'm saying? The the little yachties, you know, mm-hmm. and the dirks and all of them. You know, go and do music. Like, you know, when Jay Z, when he kind of like started doing albums later in life, he it was more mature albums, you know what I'm saying? And everything like that, you know? So he's saying, why don't you start to transition into doing more mature music and, and, and stop trying to keep up with the 21 and 22 year olds so that's what he did and then drake didn't like it and said what he said because you know you know drake you know he's been putting out his albums for a while yeah. and he's like oh you dissing my album and you dissing me so drake said what he said you know and drake you know drake really don't say much he yeah, throws he subliminals does. out there yeah, yeah. but he don't really do no long posts <laughs> yeah. but he broke it down you know uh joe buddy you know really rough with his feathers yeah. So uh, you know, let, let's break it down. Let's start with you, bro. What's your thoughts, man, on what Drake said and um and also what Joe Budden hey, said? I like to Joe Drake. Budden. You know what I'm saying? He cool, but hey, he's an idiot for saying that shit. You can't say nothing about Drake right now. Right now, he's running the rap industry. You know what he I'm saying? Running. Yeah, you know he's been running it for a while. So somebody like that, I mean, he's on top for a reason. Yeah. So to be honest, other artists need to adapt to what he's <laughs> doing and do the same thing because right yeah. now he's on top. He's yeah. running a whole hip hop game right now. Yep. So, Joe Budden, he's an idiot to talk shit about him because he ain't going nowhere with that. Because I'm, I'm thinking, be honest, that's going in everybody's ear, not the other. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nobody ain't really hearing that shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. So I mean, hey, Drake, keep doing what you think. You, you keep doing your thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Drake heavy, and uh, he do make a point. Like you know, Joe, Joe Budden rap career been in it. In yeah. a long time ago, <laughs> right? Yeah. You know what I'm even saying? When he start exactly. He ended right <laughs> when he started, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so facts, facts. he can't talk shit about an artist that been in the game for a, over a decade and he been running the game. Yeah. So yeah. Joe Budden, he sounds like an idiot talking like that. So yeah, man, Drake, keep doing your thing, man. That's yeah. it. Facts, facts. Uh, also, too, really quick before we go into you, um, Amarachi, um, you know we keep it real. So I gotta say, I gotta say, uh, for Cups Pope purposes, uh, uh, Francis. Um, in the beginning and maybe throughout the um, video is cool, but don't leave the clip up the whole time. I mean, the pictures. Yeah, and that's for clip purposes. Everybody know we cut clips, you know, and everything like that. So, uh, so yeah, just, uh, you know, show them like in the beginning, but, you know, uh, float, them, float them out as well, um, you know, to get the whole screen. Yeah. All right, uh, Queen, so what's your thoughts yeah. on this? Okay, so my thoughts, once he takes that off the screen, no. Um, <laughs> I need to be Look, she want to make sure. In full 3D. Um, <laughs> no, but okay, so okay, so there's a couple things with this in, 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 in Joe's defense, but not really in his defense. He can be a critic of the album. He is a vlogger slash heavy podcast slash personality. He can have an opinion on a music album. You know what I mean? And nobody should take it personal because they would rate it in the source or wherever magazine they're rating. Cool. But then Drake is right, though, with the clapbacks that he hit Joe Biden. By the way, nigga, you never even made it. What are you talking about? I've run in this game, been running this game since 2010, 13, 15 years. Yeah. Still number one, still hop on any track, still one of the hottest albums. What are you talking about? Nigga, my shit's still going to trend. So I see how Drake got a little triggered, like, to even respond to Joe Budden about that. Joe, about me, Joe, we know, pump, 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 pump it up. What other song did he have? <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, yeah, pump, uh, pump, pump, pump. We did with Marcus Houston, up I think. Up in the club. Oh, oh that yeah. shit was fire. Yeah, that was hot. Yeah. He, he, he was, oh, okay, he was okay. That was the only one. No, no that shit was fire, though. That, that, was, that was hotter than Pump It Up. It was. It yeah, Rokin, yeah, yeah. Rokin. Yeah, okay, whatever yeah, yeah. you say. Yeah, it was hot. But Wrote by the, 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 the one and only R. Kelly. You oh, yeah. Yeah, and then Joe Budden came through. His little verse was slapping. Okay. Slapping. I like that. I actually still listen to that song. That was it. Yeah, exactly. So, end it there. <laughs> so now yeah. Joe yeah he 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 probably um Drake felt a little triggered because yeah. Joe has a big platform and him saying that might affect some listeners but hey he he is entitled to say hey the album was whack I mean some of the stuff yeah. my dude threw on some Drake I said, I said turn this shit off this shit whack like and it's Drake but it still could be whack yeah 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 like I like you Drake but damn nigga everything ain't hot yeah, so yeah Joe has a right to his opinion. Now, and I was going to say, the funny part where Drake said about people listening, screwing up their faces. Do y'all know what he meant by that? You know when they do that ugly face? Like, yeah, yeah. Nigga, don't nobody want to hear the bars. You know when people are like rapping, they be like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so niggas can be in the crowd scrunching up their faces. 
shout out Drake. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, yeah, yeah. They both had points, but okay, Drake yeah. is the king. So hey, Joe, yeah. yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean when it <laughs> <laughs> when it comes down to Drake. Hey, I, I I get Drake. You know what I'm saying? We got to understand Drake been number one for so long. Yeah. So anybody say something about him, like, in, in to the extent that Joe Budden did, that have a platform like yeah, Joe Budden, yeah. he almost like, I got to say something. Right, right. I can't just not say nothing at all. So Drake exactly. did exactly what he should have done. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to let this dude yeah. who I battled. We got to remember, too, Drake and Joe Budden battled. Each other mm. about what, like what, what like eight nine years ago? Battle back. In, yeah, it was a that. battle. Yeah, <laughs> they battled. Yeah, uh, you know, putting out record after oh. record, you know, and everything like that. So, so Dre looking at it like me and this dude been going back and forth for a long time. Yeah. So I'm not gonna let this dude get away with nothing. Yeah, I don't care what anybody say. I'm saying something. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. But on the other hand, I gotta respect Joe Budden for the simple fact that Joe Budden like this is my job. This is what I do. This is why I'm the best. Yeah. Joe Budden is number one when it comes yeah, down to exactly. podcasts and hip hop hosts. He's number one, so he gotta say right. exactly what he feel and what he think. Right. He can't just always just say the best things, which he have. Uh, Joe Budden have said a lot of great things about Drake too, even after the battles and all of that. Right, he said a lot of great things about Drake. You know, right, so right. so I'm not gonna take that away from Joe, but being. A person who is doing what Joe is doing, you know, we sit down here at the table and we give yeah. our opinions just like Joe. Yeah. I gotta respect Joe because yeah. he's keeping it real. That's what we have the 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 cancel culture show for yeah. to keep it real. So I can't look at Joe like Joe, why you do that? That's Drake. You gotta watch who you talking about and how you say it. Joe wouldn't be who he was if he wasn't about taking risk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He's yeah. Joe Budden because he take risk. Yeah, he like but that yeah, wasn't Drake. A risk. Everybody. Well, it was a risk because everybody's getting on Joe like yeah, crazy. Yeah, you know but, what I'm saying? Like, I'm album, about to read into what Birdman said. Birdman even getting on Joe. Right. You know what I'm but saying? The album is it was whack, a risk. Whack. Okay. It, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, when it comes down to the album, you know, I, I, I'm a, I, I like a lot of Drake music. So, you got it. Got to really be whack for me not to like. Okay. Did you a Drake listen? Did you check? This I listened one out? to about okay. five, six of the songs, and they cool them. It's not the. It's not the greatest body of work. It okay. ain't. It. It ain't nothing. Was the same. I tell you that much. Nothing the best song. album that has ever been created on this planet Earth. It wasn't that one. That is the best body of work I've ever heard in my life. Which one? I saw the 12 playing TP3. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but that was the one. best body of work <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. Nothing was the same. It, it, okay. It, 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 anything bad to say about nothing was the same. I don't even know what album. I love you're all about. Drake albums. Well, when you go, when you go, when you go home, go on YouTube and pop on. Nothing was the same. Listen from one all the way down. Okay. You know yeah, what I'm saying? One of the eight. hardest albums, <laughs> one to done that I've ever heard. But when it comes down to it, it wasn't that. <laughs> yeah. So so, but but I but I like uh, I I like Drake music in general. So yeah. I didn't really have nothing negative to say. But Joe Budden, yeah, he taking a risk and giving his criticism and his critiques, and he have to do that. Yeah. Because if he's gonna continue to be the best, he gotta put it. Lay it all down on the line. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah everybody going to come at me for saying this, but I'm going to say it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, hey, he got to keep that number one spot. I'll tell you this, though. Everybody was checking for Joe Budden after Drake. Then put out a whole timeline quote, you know, message on him. Everybody <laughs> now checking for Joe Budden. Yeah. I bet you them numbers is going to be going crazy yep, so that the works. next time he still foot on the JPG pop, uh, podcast. Yeah. I bet you it's going to go crazy. So, hey, Joe Budden did his job. He got a response from Drake. Not just Drake, Birdman, which we're going to read in a little bit, what Birdman had to mm. say. So he got a response from the whole Cash Money crew, Young Money crew. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He did his job. Hey, but up. also I feel like this. Like, Joe Budden, he is entitled to his own opinion. But it's also, you can look at it in a way where some people just talking because maybe they hating on that individual too as well. Because I think that's more of hating words, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. how he's talking like that towards Drake. I think because you got to think about it, Drake, he, bro, every song he do go hard. Like, it Some make no sense that. to talk bad about an artist that's just shitting on the game for 10 years. Yeah. You're talking about, you're talking you know to Drake fans. We we fans yeah. of Drake's I mean, music. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, saying, I'm just trying to say him Joe, as a Joe person. Joe was a competitor. Yeah, but you I, know what I'm saying? I hear that too, but I'm just trying to say, like, it, it should be nothing you have to say about Drake. But yeah. it's like, if he is going to say something about it, I feel like maybe it's hating words. Maybe because 
You know what I'm saying? Now he you don't like his lifestyle. You probably you looking at him on social media every day. He's popping up everywhere. Drake is everywhere. So maybe he's just sitting back like, man, I ain't, I'm hating this dude. I'm, I'm not liking. I'm seeing his lifestyle. And he he probably Joe felt Budden like is rich because you know where he I got know, the best podcast rich, but like, in the world. But like Drake said, look where he's living. Look where Joe Budden living. He's not living where Drake living though. Right. We don't know. You know what, what we don't know what Joe Budden really got but, going on. You bro, know what type of dude this dude just? But not like, but Drake. On you said, bro, who is though? When it comes to Drake, who is? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But what bad you got? You have nothing to say. Look, bro, the only bad thing he had to say about Drake was really like, oh, you hopping on tracks with young artists? No, 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 no. Come on, bro. He said that when it comes down to Drake music, because if you if you go listen to it, I get this is where I get Joe Budden. When you listen to like nothing was the same, you know, and even take care, it's timeless music. It don't matter if it was it, it, it didn't have nothing to do with the 90s, the time that he was in, or the future. Yeah. It was timeless music. I get what Joe, the songs I listened to, you could tell that it had more of like that feel like uh 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 uh, you got Twenty One Savage, you know that that little, you know, uh, um, that that Southern, you know, little yeah. hard, little club, yeah. you know, uh, um, joints going, or that little yachty, hard. you know, yeah, laid back, yeah. fun type of music, you know, like he's telling Drake, like, look, I see where you went with this, but we want to see Drake really get in the lab and put together a timeless classic. So I'm just saying, it's so I'm not yeah. rather he was right or wrong. I think that he gave a fair critique. I don't think that it was wrong with what he said. He, I don't think that Joe Budden was hating. Because right, Joe, because this is why I say this too. I listen to Joe Budden. And Joe Budden, I'm going to say for the last couple of years, he has said nothing bad about Drake. In fact, he said nothing but good stuff about Drake. He, he have to give, as an as a ex-rapper and as a person who platform is mainly for hip-hop, he had to give his critique if, because if he didn't give his fair and real critique, then he's not a hip hop, you know what I'm saying, podcaster who break down artist albums. So I don't honestly, I don't even think Joe Budden even thought that this was gonna come back on him like this. He was just giving his critique when they was talking about the album, which he didn't say nothing crazy about Drake. He just broke down why this body of work was not like a classic, the way that I, the way that I expected Drake to do. You know, when it come down to Drake's music, so I didn't see nothing hating. He just broke it down like he's supposed to break. The way we we gonna break it down. Okay, it, it, but I, I feel like it's cool. Like if Joe Budden would have said something like that, if Drake was like 45, 50 years old, but the dude is only 30, 34, 35 years old. He's 36. Still in the club. 36. 36. 36. Well, 37 this month. All right, 36. Yeah, he's 36. still in the clubs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, he's he's still living that young lifestyle. I mean, he's not old. We talking. We acting like Drake is 45, 50 years old. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's still in the clubs. He's still performing. He's still out there dancing. He's still he's, he's still in that young he's life. I mean, he's still young. Red. He's only 36 he's still, years yeah. old. 35, 36. Yeah. He just said so that. So you it, understand. Yeah. Like, I mean, for him to say that right now, it's, I think it was just too early. And I think the reason why he said it because he's kind of a little bit hating on Drake. No, that's I his really critique. Like that. For one, for one, when it come down to it, it, it okay, I'll put it like this. I feel like he's a hater I'll put it like this. I'm a big time Drake fan, right? I'm going to be real because I got to now. Y'all making me go there. It's not a classic. It's not nothing was right. the same. It, yeah. it wasn't take care. It's I'm going to be honest. I saw it. It was not great. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got to go there. Now, you making me go against the dude who I <laughs> is one of my favorite artists now. Because yeah. you over here saying something that I don't feel believe. Like no, yeah. but the reason, but the reason, like the reason why I'm going there now with it now, the reason why I'm going there now with it is because I know Joe Budden is doing his job. And Joe right. Budden is an elite. An elite. He was an artist. This is like somebody... Who um, was in the NBA, maybe a six man or whatever, now giving their um, opinion on the the game. Like when you watching Sports Center or you know Stephen A. and all of them, it's like that. Even even if the person did did bad, you can't just always say great things about them. So what I believe Joe Budden was doing was just giving his critique, which it isn't a classic. Right, He's just yeah. telling. Wait wait, let me break it down. Mm -hmm. It is not a classic. I think that's something we all can agree. If you listen to it, we can all agree that it's not a classic. Okay, we got that right. You could tell that Drake was. Jumping on like what's going on right now when it, when it come okay. down to the music that, that's out right now when you hear it, you could tell the type of music that's out right now you could tell Drake was just jumping on it you know switching up the flows and everything like that throwing a younger artist so Joe Budden to me gave a fair critique he was just saying that it's not a classic you could tell where Drake was going with it Drake was more in his young you know zone with it and he wasn't in this hey I'm putting out a classic album type zone and Joe just giving a fair critique. From his expertise as an ex artist that's now a podcaster that gotta give his opinion. I don't know what the dude could have said that wouldn't have looked like he was hated. Uh, um, like he was hated. Right. I don't know what he could have said. All right, just because he didn't have a classic album, though, bro. I, you gotta understand, he's been an artist for 10 plus years. So it ain't every art, um, every album is gonna pop. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have them albums that maybe not be that good, but the next album might be better. Who knows? But no matter what, I mean, 
that's Drake. Right now, he at the point in time in his life where he making so much money, so big in the game, where he probably just putting out songs. He probably wasn't even really tripping about that. So you're going to get critiqued then. <laughs> no, 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 but his critique Which is, is trying to truth. say, like, oh, you're doing young songs. No, you're doing it. He's, like, that's he's, his, he's giving that's his what critique he's on if they, if you get. Are I would him just say something about that. No, no, I'm like, bro, it wasn't that good. No, if you give it. I'm going to say that and say, like, oh, you trying to. Be young, you still trying to do young music. He with, said what it was. It, no, I'm telling you the same thing. I'm telling yeah. you what Drake did when you listen to the album. Drake, when it come down to it, he had a lot of the younger artists up on it. It wasn't like Drake had the OGs or the people who's gonna help make this a classic on the album. Besides Cole, I give him that. Cole was on the song. You know what I'm saying? But the rest of the artists were really, really young on our. So he, the artists so, popping. so he just. No I'm not saying that they not. Right now. He just said for one, it was not a classic. It wasn't great. It was cool. But he's just rating when it comes down to it. You got to understand. If, 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 that let, let, me, let me put it like this. When it comes down to Joe, Joe did it for real. He was in the game, signed. He put out his songs. I don't care how many it was. He put out his songs. He was also on Slaughterhouse with Eminem. Joe's going to give the hardest critique because he was there. He was a part of it. He's battled against Drake and other artists. He's been at the top of the pinnacle. So you got to understand when it's coming from him, he's going to give you the actual real from it. You know what I'm saying? He's not a fan. He was competing with these dudes. You get what I'm saying? That's like an NBA player now being on um, um, first take and now giving a, a critique on LeBron James game, being real. You know what? LeBron wasn't that great. He could have stepped it up by doing this and not doing that. I, I think he, LeBron James needs to play better next time. That's just like saying that in the music world. When it came down to what Joe Budden said, he didn't say nothing bad about Drake. He said that it wasn't. It basically wasn't a classic. He could have did better, you know. Um, you know, I could tell he was doing this or doing that. I don't. I don't know what else the dude could have said that would have made. This is what happened. Joe Budden podcast. Joe Budden got a big voice in hip hop, mm -hmm. a very big voice. And Drake got triggered because he like, I know everybody gonna hear what Joe got to say. To me, it shows respect because Drake ain't finna say nothing against anybody else saying nothing to him. He said something when Joe Budden said something. You know why? Because he respect his platform. That's why. Because yeah. Joe Budden didn't kill Drake. He did yeah. not do nah, that. Nah, hell he no. just gave yeah. his opinion about the right. album because he had to. But it's I think that opinion, platform. I really think nobody cares, though. Nobody's not going to listen to that opinion and really be like, oh, shit, okay, Drake, I think yeah. he was speaking the truth. I'm, people going to be listening. To, that's going to go one ear out that, the other. That part, don't, that part is irrelevant. I'm just saying yeah. he got the biggest platform in podcasts. Let's be real, in the hip hop space in general, mm -hmm. bigger than even Drake. But champs. it's irrelevant why nobody gonna listen because it don't matter. It sounds stupid. He's number people. one, bro. He's number one for a reason. He's no, number he, one because he break down people. This is what he do. He's number one for yeah, a reason. I, I feel like said, that against Drake. I think that was a hater. No, it don't. Then no, you saying that as a fan. No, at I'm the not end, at the end of the fan, day, bro. I'm not saying it's a Joe Budden. Okay, so if he breaking down, look, if he breaking down Lil Yachty, if he breaking down Uzi Vert, okay, bro. If he, if hold up, 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 hold up. It don't. If he breaking down all these other artists and saying the same shit, would he hating on all of them now? He number one being a hater. That's who he is now. Cause Joe Budden to me, y'all see Joe Budden. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, no, no. Joe Budden go crazy on people. Do y'all not watch Joe Budden? What he did to Drake and compare. Nowhere near compared to what he be doing to these artists. I'm talking when he about break Drake, them down. though. I'm not Hear talking what I'm about saying. Though. Hear what I'm saying. The way he broke down Drake was nothing compared to. In fact, to me, he kept it light. If you really look at the clip, he just gave his opinion on the album because he had to. But when he break down other people's album, have you heard what he said in the past about Lil Yachty? The dude. Basically said everything outside of nigga, what are you doing here as a rapper? But then again, so I'm that's what I'm saying. Drake. So I'm, I'm not talking saying. about everybody else in particular. No, I'm, I'm just saying. But but he's Joe. But he's gonna break down everybody the same. It don't matter. He's not looking at it like you. He's but, not saying. But he's Drake. Joe Budden's not doing that. No, and that's cool. So I that's so so, so, so that's giving so, my opinion. I just think so. It's no, I'm, words. Say, I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. It don't. It don't. It's not hating if he's breaking down everybody the same. If he's doing it all the same, what is, why is he hating on this person when he's giving the same type of critique to, to, to another person? Where, where did, why is it? Oh, because it's Drake is hating. Nah, bro. I think, look, honestly, this nigga Joe Budden be up sitting on his couch talking with no shoes on because the nigga's making millions like it ain't no tomorrow. Cool. You know, he's the number one hip hop podcast. The dude probably was trying to keep it even more light because he like, yeah, you already know it's going to go viral Drake, but he got to give his opinion on it and he got to keep it real. I don't think nothing had to do with hate because the dude for the last three, four, five years has said nothing but good stuff about Drake. His last albums and everything. But he had to keep it real. And let's be real. And when you listen to it, you will see it. Just like you said what you said, Amarachi, the album is not good. 
So that's mm-hmm. all that was doing. He was telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? And breaking it down. But you go listen to it and then you give your opinion. I'm a big Drake fan. And I and I'm listening to it and I'm like, yeah, nah, this ain't this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? But that's Joe Buddy. That's all mm-hmm. I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying but, as well. You Joe, you Joe you gotta is, listen to Joe to understand who Joe is. What you say? But you Joe, Joe 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 is he could have a little hate though to Drake though a little bit. Everybody know that. When it comes down to he it, who knows have, who hate? I'm saying okay. his his opinion was not a hater opinion. I feel like oh, yeah, yeah. That, his, his opinion. Music, that's what that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. You he was breaking. Opinion, yeah, he was breaking down. He just gave his opinion, like he gave everybody's opinion on mm-hmm. their album. I don't know how he feel. I don't know how Drake feel about Joe. I don't know how Joe. I don't know all that. I'm not these. I'm not in these niggas' bodies. This ain't yeah. meteor man where I can walk into their body and know what's going on in their heart. Look, I, I feel like I'm that. I'm telling you, right, when he but... broke when he broke down the 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 album, when he broke that down, mm-hmm. it was just an opinion. Look, you're right about the opinion, but I just I But just when it like come down to it. Nobody should have no opinion on Drake right now. I, that's just how I feel. <laughs> you are, Excuse my friends, but fuck that. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna have an opinion I, I, on everybody. Straight I up. I mean, that's true, but I'm just trying and to I don't say what nobody don't say. But nah. that's Drake. You know what I'm saying? I, it don't matter. It right don't now. matter. Somebody Drake ain't God. The game. I'm not giving nobody no, that type of right. In the rap game, he is. Drake ain't God. I, in the world. No, not God. I'm trying Bro. to say in the rap game, like he's that powerful. I'm, I'm like, going to tell you this straight up, and you making me go say this about an artist that I like. I don't give a fuck. Drake ain't God. I ain't putting no well, nigga on no same time. Hold up, hold up. No, 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 no. I'm not. But nobody get that right. It don't matter. Nobody get that right. All right, look. You're not God. God. And particularly God that we pray to. Okay, so don't say, say nobody like can powerful. say nothing he's, about somebody like there. they God. No, I'm trying to say like he's up there. He's running the game. He's controlling but you the whole still, game. But he's you still can tell the truth about a person. That's, that's all I'm truth. saying. He's the best in the game. Nobody the truth be is if it's about. whack, it's whack. That's it. If Jordan go 0 for 45, he was whack in that game. That's the truth. Am I, if, Jordan, if, if Jordan go 0 for 45, did he play great? Did he play no, great? If he game. went 0 for 45, did he play great That's that game? Jordan. So you're going to say, you know what? Jordan played good that game. Is that what you're going to say? No, you're not going to lie, but. Let's what? be real, my nigga. If he go 0 for 45, are you going to say Jordan played great? All right, but look, hey. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Let's though, keep it real. Hey, all right, but okay, I'm not Whatever you want to say. I'm just saying, bro, if somebody miss and they not making a shot, all you're doing is giving your critique that the yeah. nigga missed and he should do better next time. That's all he did yeah. when it come down to Joe Budden. Well, I'm was, just as much as a Drake fan, but at the end of the day, you can't tell me that you, I can't I can't get my pen on somebody. And Joe Budden is the best. He the best for a reason. So you can't now tell him he can't give his opinion on Drake. You know, people yeah. can feel what they I want. He just gave his. Him is, I think he's a hater. Well, like, it, it was, it, no matter what, Joe Budden gave his opinion on everybody. Yeah, but it was In triggering. fact, to me, he kept it light. That's but, all but I'm saying at the end of the Joe day. Budden, it was triggering just like the Cardi B situation, him having to pull a whole interview because of Cardi B. Joe Budden triggered. Because it's Joe. So, and that's yeah. what, and that's, and that's so what, that's what, that, why and that's why, and, that, and that's it. So. And what you said was perfect. Right. I love that. This is why Joe Budden. This is why when it come down to it, Joe Budden know his word is powerful. Yeah. See what happened with the Cardi B. No, Cardi B don't care about Tasha K going anywhere else. Yeah. But when it come down to Joe, because he's so powerful in the podcast space, yeah. Drake know this. It wasn't even about really what Drake Joe said. It's that Joe, Joe said something outside of liking the album. That's what it really was. And it triggered him because Joe got the biggest voice in hip hop. Yeah. That's really what it came down to it That's when true. it's when it's all said and done. Mm-hmm. I was just trying to say at the end of the day, I understand Drake's side and Joe's side. I don't think none of it have to do with hate. I think it have everything to do with Drake didn't like the biggest platform in the world. A dude who in the past was in this game yeah. said something negative about my album. He didn't like that. That's what it really is at the end of the day, okay. man. But let's let's read real quick what Birdman said. So Birdman tells Joe Budden to calm down. After Joe and Drake beef over for all the dogs album. Birdman is doubling down on his stance on protecting Drake at all costs. Admit the Drizzy's beef with Joe Budden. Oh, Sunday, October 8th, Birdman was on club was on a clubhouse session in WAC 100 where he addressed the recent back and forth between Drake and Joe Budden. Tell Joe Budden, calm down, Stunner said. I don't have no ill feelings with Joe Budden. I personally always respected Joe Budden. I have, I have nothing ill about Joe Budden, but he can't play with the GOAT. And if you playing with the GOAT, then you want a problem. If you want a problem, we'll give you a problem. Oh, God, <laughs> we'll give you one. Here, Birdman address. So, is Birdman still <laughs> like getting no money Birdman off Drake? So, so, Birdman oh, still course. getting money oh, yeah, off Drake. Of course, okay, yeah. yeah. You know so, he, of course, he's going to say that. Hey, 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 yeah, and, and that's yeah. what I'm he saying. Don't care. Think about what, think, see, what, it, it proves my point even more. You heard what Birdman, Birdman said, right? Same thing at the end that you said. You shouldn't be saying nothing about the GOAT. Okay, so that's what it's all about. I gave my opinion about the nigga. Come, that's what it's all about. 
I gave my opinion about the dude. That's what it's all about. <laughs> like every that's hey. what everybody's not when you break it all down to get get to the end of it, like what you said. Hey, he's Drake. Nobody said I have nothing to say. He's God, right? Look. You got Birdman. He is the GOAT. Why are you saying something? It's not even about the dude opinion. You know what? It don't matter what he said. Yeah. He would have got trashed and trampled on the same I mean, everybody way. Everybody entitled to that's opinion, all I'm saying, I just, feel, man. I, just, I just said coming from, from Joe Budden, I feel like it's hating worse because I, I feel like he do hate on Drake in certain ways. So anything he ever said about I'm Drake, saying, even if Drake is does something whack like what he just did, it don't matter. Joe Budden is hating. It's just, it's just sound crazy, bro. But, it, I mean, he's a it makes no opinion, sense. So whatever it is. It, what it, it makes, that's saying, what I'm saying. So like, the dude could never criticize Drake ever in life because he's the GOAT. And he gonna be hating. All right. That's just crazy, man. You don't have the number one hip hop platform in a podcast space with shedding up just because somebody is the greatest or the best or whatever. No, that's how you become the best in that space. You know what I'm saying? That's how you become. So he gotta give his opinion. He'll be a fool not to because then he won't be the best when it come down to it. That's all I'm saying, you know? Anything to say about what Birdman Did you no, anything to say about what Birdman said? Say, I mean, of course he gonna say it like I asked. Is he still getting checks? Y'all said yes. I said, okay, what else is he gonna say? Definitely so that's, I mean, well, anybody that come against Young Money, if that's in the Young Money crew is gonna be defended. So, all right. I hey. mean, he did it. He did what he's supposed but, to do. But, but yeah, like all this to say, and as we wrap this up, Joe Biden has the right, Biden has the right to have an opinion. But it's triggering because it's coming from Joe Budden because of the, That's a fact. the podcast That's a platform. Fact. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, hey. That's how I feel. Yeah. Well, anything on what Birdman said to say on what Birdman uh, said? Nah, Birdman did what he had to do. You know, yeah. that's his artist. So yeah. I can yeah. take his artist, you know. Supposed but to. it was just funny listening to it because I'm like, Birdman, always got to take a street. <laughs> you over here <laughs> talking about if it's a problem, hey, it's going to be it's gonna be something. We're going to get it down. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. We're going to get it down. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just funny hearing Birdman talk like that, man. Yeah, yeah. That nah, we really, all agree with he that. Really Bur- from the hood. Yeah, yeah Birdman yeah, did exactly. what he was supposed to do. Yeah, because I didn't hear that come yeah. out of Drake mouth. Nah, 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 but yeah. um, but no, nah, that was that was that was a good you know. T- hey, we we broke it. No matter what, we not always all gonna agree. But I like how you know what I'm saying. We could really break it down for the people, um, you know, because that's what it's really about, you know. But um, but no matter what, man, you know, these are two individuals who I think all of us at this table respect. You know, we, you know, when it come down to uh, well, I I don't know about all, but I respect Drake. I respect Joe Budden. I'm not gonna say really with music, Joe, but I you know being in the podcast space, I respect Joe Budden. With what he has done, you know, and um, just to be real with you, when it come down to this show, the way we are putting it together right now, I, I got a little bit of taste of Joe Budden, you know, with, you know, us as men sitting down with Emirachi. I saw what he did, you know, with his podcast, you know what I'm saying? And everything like that. And I'm like, OK, that's dope. You know, let's let's bring that 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 element over here to this podcast and see where it go. You know, mm-hmm. so I respect what he's doing over there. And you already know when it come down to it. Drake is he is he is the best, you know. What I'm and saying? I do got love for Joe Budden. I don't want Joe Budden be watching this, be like, yeah, that nigga, <laughs> yeah, he, he trying to talk shit about me, huh? I'm not. I ain't talking shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about just a particular thing. Talking about Drake. I'm just feel like you know it's yeah, a little hating, no. but you know I, I still fuck with you, yeah. uh, Joe Budden. I fuck with him. Yeah, which yeah. it have oh, nothing to do with. Hate, but it could be some cool. niggas be hating. You know that. And Drake and Drake and well, Drake hate on Joe. And who knows Drake could be hating on Joe. With what Joe do? I don't. I don't. What do you mean with what? He got a mic in his hand more than anybody on. This planet Earth right now in hip hop, the the mic d- people respect Drake's mic when it comes to the booth. Everybody respect Joe Budden mic when it comes to this table. So you don't know how Drake feel. Remember Drake tried to have a podcast at one point in time over your radio. He went on a couple of times, but Drake ain't a he ain't he don't speak like Joe Budden. Oh, wow. You gotta have a talent oh, to yeah. sit at the table. Let's be real, you gotta have a yeah, talent to true. sit at this table yeah, no, and hold a mic in that's your hand. True. And Joe's true. been doing it for how long? Yeah. Joe been doing it for like 10 plus years. And maybe that's yeah. his talent instead Joe's of probably, rapping. Let's I mean, be real. He's good at rapping too, but hey. Let's, nah, let's be real. Hold up. Hold up. Hold say hold up. No, well, well, we can't say <laughs> he wasn't good. We can't him, say he wasn't good, he bro. He was he, 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 what type of good. Yeah, we talking we, about yeah. good like he had a hit song. Okay, good like yeah, that, but not good like Every time this nigga get on the mic, he's spitting yeah. bars. You know what well, I'm saying? Well, he That's was a battle. I mean. Joe Budden started off as a battle rapper, rapper bro. He sucked. No, no, no. That battle rapper. What the? F- what? Okay, I feel like you don't make it in the game and get deals to me. I feel like it was written. I'm not saying Joe Budden, bro, bro. I'm just saying when it come down to it, you you saying a dude who got signed and was one of the top battle rapper. He was a top battle rapper in the game. I didn't like him as a battle. You don't have to like him, but you can't say the dude suck. He don't say you. He's not your taste. Just like you know, Pusha T's not my taste, right? Like Pusha T never been my taste. 
I would never say Pusha T suck. Yeah. Heck no. I, it's but, not. It's not my type of music. We don't remember him for rapping though. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Nah. I'm just saying he was mainly a but battle he rapper. Yeah. You know. He, he was up in the club. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all remember? Hold on. Hold on. Can we remember when? Who who did he sign to on one of the best battle rap crews of all time? You didn't get put on that group unless you was hard as I mean, hell. Who was that? Smack. Slaughterhouse. Oh. Oh, are, are we tripping know. right now? Eminem know. signed the best five dudes, battle rappers in the game. Joe was one of those. Wow. You don't get on Slaughterhouse without. Let's move on, man. We we start. We get into a place on, like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> like we we yeah. going to a place where it's like, bro, come on, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, all right. So we gonna get into the next topic right now. So Jason Derulo was sued for sexual harassment oh, by yeah. aspiring singer. Man, Jason Derulo. Like, man, when I saw this, I'm like, dude, what the, I what know. are you doing? He ain't been right since Jordan but, Sparks but, left him. Well, no, he, <laughs> he loved Jordan. <laughs> Whatever. You know, you're like, that don't he count. He ain't okay. been right. All right, let, let, let's see what's going on and, and, and so we can have something to say. Let's see what's going on. So singer Jason Derulo is being sued by a woman who claims the singer sexually harassed her and then dropped her from a deal with his record label after she rebuffed his advances, according to documents filed in Los Angeles County Court on Thursday. In the complaint filed by attorney Ronda Brano, the woman, Amaza Gibson, accuses Derulo of pressuring her to drink and have sex with him hmm. despite her persistent refusals to do so. That's not and the one, woman. What do, you, what do you mean? The picture, that's not the woman. Oh. Yeah, that's his ex. Oh, that's 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 not the that's, that's the not ex. the woman. The woman uh, is in the article, the but is. this is not the woman. But go ahead. All right, well, yeah, take picture down, Francis. Picture, 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 woman, picture alert. Picture, picture, take down. The woman is in the article. Picture, take down. Yeah, take that right, down. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, well, let me let me finish while we uh, uh so we can get a bit to it. All right, so um, let me see. Let me go back. In the complaint filed by attorney Ron Zabrano, the woman Amaza Gibson accuses Derillo of pressuring her to drink and have sex with him despite her persistent refusal to do so. In one bizarre claim, Gibson says the singer told her that if she wanted success in the music industry, she would be required to partake in goat skin and fish scales, which is a Haitian reference referred to conducting sex rituals, sacrificing wow, a goat, goat blood, and mm. doing cocaine. The complaint additionally lists as defendants Derulo's record label, Future History Atlantic Records, which has a joint venture with Future History, Derulo's manager Frank Harris, and Radio Corporation of America, DBA RCA Records. It's unclear why RCA Records is listed as a label has never done business with Derulo or Future History. According to the complaint, Derulo contacted Gibson in, in August 2021, stating he wanted to sign her to Future History, his joint venture label with Atlantic. After allegedly signing contracts with Derulo, Future History and Atlantic Gibson states that work began on her debut album that same November when Derulo, acting as her mentor, supervisor, and agent for Atlantic Future. Gibson goes on to claim that she regularly communicated with Derulo via, te via text message to schedule recording sessions, but that the singer instead repeatedly invited her to drinks and dinner meetings she says she declined in an effort to keep the relationship professional during a meeting in new york the atlantic executives to discuss her career gibson claims she met another female artist who informed her that she was there because derillo was also trying to have sex with her gibson claims that after that alleged meeting upon confronting derillo about what the woman had said he immediately lost control and began began aggressively hitting his armrest screaming what does she have to do with you we weren't going to tell you anything we don't have to tell you anything stating that she was rattling by the outburst gibson says she later insisted that her mother who also served as her manager be present at any future meetings of recording sessions with Dorillo, out of concern for her own safety it was at this point she claims that Dorillo stopped responding to her text messages okay is that all, all right, we'll, 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 we'll stop say, there. Yeah, that's it, enough. We lot. get it. You know <laughs> we definitely get it. Um, so, uh, I just I sent mean, a yeah, picture down, just in case you got time to pull it up. Oh, you um, sent it to the uh, I sent it to I sent it to Francis, but I didn't send it to the email because I don't know. For, but anyway, oh, okay. just so people can kind of see what we're talking about. Yeah, when you get a chance, that. you can put that up while we talking, um, Francis. Uh, yeah. Just no, to show just, the picture. Yeah, just. Okay. 
so she's not lying <laughs> because if you see her, you know that it's Jason Derulo's type. Um, he probably, you know, men do this all the time. They promise women things, especially young women that they're working with. And she, he probably was like, if you do this with me, I guarantee you, I'll make sure I'll put everything in my will in to make sure you win. When she started rebunking his advances, um, he probably got mad. Like he probably was like, forget her. She ain't trying to, I can pick any little starlet out here to be a star. And so I believe that. And then the fact that she got so specific about the Hollywood demonic type of sacrifices that's not fake like she did not just pull that out of her butt like i don't you wouldn't even think of that to be that like what is that huh where did i do that unless somebody really presented that to you you wouldn't just know that in your head you know so i think mm. these claims even though i i stand against them i firmly whatever he said no jason you was trying to get with her and she canceled you out and refused you and now you mad and then so he deserves the lawsuit Mm. that's what they all do Harvey Weinstein I mean the list goes on Bill Cosby that's what they do they try to get you to do things I mean when I was a rapper there was all types of propositions it's the that's what they do to to make you think they're going to give you a chance so I don't I believe her I know she ain't lying and then the way she put the ritual things in there oh she's definitely not lying okay. all true okay what are your thoughts on it bro I mean I'm gonna say I don't know if it's true or not because I know women do be lying to try to get a check sometimes but that's a fact i mean i know it does happen in the music industry where you know what i'm saying women do gotta to get to the top they gotta you know what i'm saying yeah. stick around a little bit so with that being said uh i don't know what to believe because you know in the past it happened so many times with these women lying about these the, you know men out here just because they in a, a whole nother tax bracket and these niggas that you know all the women around the world is looking for and they won't you know, when you, you that when you that high as a, you know what I'm saying, as a particular man, you know, I mean, these women out here, you know, to get that bag, they'll do what they have to do. Yeah. Especially they know they can't get that man. That man don't want them. They just want, hey, just a sexual relation and let's, hey, let's keep it pushing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? These women don't like that. And they like, fuck that. I want to check out this nigga then. If he going to do me like that, all right, I'm going to show him what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? Women do be like that. But like mm -hmm. I said, it does happen in the music industry where, you know, I know women do try to get to that top. They got to do what they have to do. So, I mean. Yeah, so like I said, I don't know what to believe in this situation. I'm just leaving it at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's a really tough situation. Um, you know, I I kind of like went over it. You know, um, you know, the last week you you sent the topic, you know, uh, the story to us and everything like that, and I was reading over it. And to be honest, at first I was like, dang, Jason, like I was I was I was with her the whole way, like. Dang, she breaking it down and everything like like that, you know, without even knowing the whole story mm -hmm. and also without it going to court and him being proven guilty. I was like, dang, it sounds like she making a lot of sense. Let me tell you what threw me off and why, why I always say you got to let it go to court and let uh, justice do his, uh, do his thing and, and play his course. Because after she said a lot of these things happened and his behavior, you know, came out the way it did, what did she do? She went back. She went back to continue working with the dude, no matter what. She stayed working with him, even after he did the things that she said that he did. You know what I'm saying? He said, if you're going to stay, you know, coming and working with us, you know what I'm saying? Hey, leave it alone. It had nothing to do with, to do with you when it, had, when it had to do with the other girl, too. But she came back to work some more with him and everything like that. So once that happened, I'm like, well, this is why I always say you got to let this go to court. You know what I'm saying? And let it play out that way. We can't. Give our opinions because one thing that we do know is Jason Derulo. He's a celebrity. This dude have all type of women around him all the time. And we know that dudes like Jason Derulo can have any girl out there that he just about want. So when it come down to it, why is he just solely focused on his one artist that is continuing to turn him down who continue to come back? To work with them. Well, it's like, contract. why? No, it got to be something no. deeper that we don't they're know. On, they're what? under contract, though. So she has to finish the, whatever the contract is. You know, she like she's under contract. <laughs> so you've been abused, label. so you're going to go back? No, <laughs> but, but. Like, let's be real. The work. Like, like her mother no. said, you in the article, she said, I'm going to accompany my daughter from now you're on being to abused. these meetings. Let, 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 me, let me tell you why I keep on mentioning. Let, let me tell you why I keep on mentioning you're being abused. Do you know how fast if she went to court? They would throw that contract out of the right. window right. and she will win everything she want 
if she went and she had proof that she was really being abused, she wouldn't have to go she, back. She, she's, I'm she's pretty been sure. Proposition. No, 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 no. I'm saying at the end of the day, you don't go through that. I don't. I, I can't sit here and say a woman is just gonna go through that mm -hmm. and just continue to say, you know what? I'm just gonna go back, even though I'm being abused and I'm going through all of this right now. And this dude is crazy outside of his mind. I'm gonna just keep going back. Yeah, it's for okay. my career to get to the top, to but, be a singer, because he promised me these things. But guess what? And she felt like she's gonna continue to politely say no, thank you. I just want to work, like she says in the article. She told him so on several occasions. I just want to work. He's still forcing, pushing himself on her because he thinks, oh, I can get. And it. she kept her. going back. But, well, the, yeah. but, at the, but at the end of the day, if she takes that, as long as he don't rape her, I'm gonna go but, back. But let me tell you this. But let me let me tell you what the problem is with all of this. We didn't heard of so many cases to where they brought it to court and the person got paid and they wiped the whole thing away. She could have got in a way better position if she really went through this and it got brought up. You get what I'm saying? But the reason why I'm saying we got to wait and see what happened in court because. We hearing too many different things going on right now. How did you go back after going through this? We've heard of other situations in the industry to where we don't hear no names and we don't know what happened. We just know somebody got paid off. That person is still probably in the industry. We hear this about some of the biggest artists in the game now. We hear this when it comes down mm -hmm. to like the 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 Foxies and the Kims and and mm -hmm. some of them in the game right now. Now to say, uh, uh, what's her name was kind of talking about something. Um, uh, uh, um. Uh, start with the, um, um, the 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 girl rapper. The pretty she she was going back and forth with Nikki for a little bit. Oh, Lotto, um, Lotto. There we go. She okay. was she had a story of something that she went on. Yeah, went through back th there, they, right? They wouldn't give her the feature because so, she wouldn't sleep with him. So so and, and she didn't go through. All, she didn't do it. She doesn't know? need to. So, she's Lotto. So this now she's Lotto. Unknown. Now she's Lotto. So I'm just saying, a lot of the artists have went through things to where that situation got trash they probably got paid or something like that and that person that dude who did that probably not even in the game no more so if that was, she was really going through that that wouldn't have ended her career in fact it would have probably helped her career because it would have put some money in her pocket and jason derillo would have been canceled out here you right, know right. but i'm saying the reason well, why i get this far is because it's more to the story you know what i'm saying okay. well, that, that that's that's, that's what i feel so that's why i'm like i'm at the place right now just like when it came down to the actor dude who at first when we talked about it here it was all about oh see this is why you date the black girl this is why you stay away from the white well, yep. girl you know he, exactly. he, he's abusive <laughs> and all of this other type of stuff it came out that the dude really wasn't abusive or any of that type of stuff okay, right. so that's what i'm saying like i, I want to hold my 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 final thought on this until we see what happens okay in court. so we can see what happens in court but you don't think that those things that she explained vividly and specifically could be would would be something she made up go uh, sacrifice it happens all the time stop playing all right it happens so all the three time people have sued beyonce about witchcraft so we're gonna say she's not a witch like stop playing y'all gotta the proof is in the pudding she said everything she needs to say her mom is coming to meetings with her they were under a contract under his label and three other labels she can't just not go to the studio but what she was trying to do was trying to be like yo let's just work he, he like she said he invited me for drinks i said no i'd rather just meet in the studio and work on my work that is how you kind of fight somebody off without being attitude and not them thinking you're a bitch and continuing to work with you. She was trying to be diplomatic. But D Jason Derulo took it to another level thinking, oh, I'm going to get this girl. Don't worry. Enough studio sessions. Inviting her to drink wine at the studio. She don't want to sing and drink wine. She come to sing. Yeah, but that's one thing. These claims of abuse and all that is another. <laughs> she didn't so, abuse. so when it comes harassment, down, wh har <laughs> whatever you want to say, I'm just saying when it comes down to that, that's another thing. Men all the time, hey, you want to do this? You want to join in? When it comes down that. to that, that's what men do. So I'm not saying that he didn't do that, mm -hmm. but I think she went. She's going to another level that I think that hey, if you really saying that he did these things, you got to prove it. I'm sorry, you got to prove it in a court of law okay. because if it was really that serious, I believe that. It would have been something that has been done earlier that would have trashed all of this. It probably wouldn't even went to court. And Jason Durrell's career probably would be over right now. She probably would have been paid. Right. Just like a lot of other girl artists that say, I've been through this and been through that. But they still in the game. Hot stars, hot artists that got paid. And that dude who been through that with them, they not even in the game no more. Paul, who, so I'm how just long saying, did it I, take for Cosby, uh, Weinstein, this Masterson guy that just from that 70s club that just went to prison a month ago? How long? It took them 20 years to get justice. That's because for them. no one ever yeah, said anything. Exactly. So she was trying to do her deal and be diplomatic. Yo, let's just meet at the studio. Let's not go to dinner. Oh, I just want to work on my career. Please, can you just allow me to do that? Oh, I'm really not into you like that. She was trying to let it be known. I'm not trying to cross that boundary. Jason kept on. So then this is where she took it. She, she didn't wait 20 years like they did. That's what that's how you know she's not lying. So she's been trying to tell him, hey, chill out. Masterson did one of those girls twice. Why did you go back to his house? Because women oh. 
yeah. the opportunity. He's okay. gonna help so me. We, so we maybe go- he's not mm-hmm. gonna do it anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, like so, it's hard. So we're gonna accuse the dude without any proof and without going to the courts of law to make a decision on if she's telling the truth or not. We're gonna just accuse the dude now. <laughs> you know what? Jason Derulo is an abuser and a <laughs> ra- and harasser and all of this type of stuff. <laughs> We're just gonna put this on the dude without any proof. Just off of her word and that's no, it. Not, a no, woman no. who stayed going around him, even though she said all these things was happening. Come on, I, I can't do that. Okay. We see this happen to men all the time and it's messed up. If it get proved in court and she got some real evidence, a video, something. Nowadays, everybody video record, video record everything. She's in studios, right? It's videotape of this. Yeah, but the stuff It ain't no on. studio out here nowadays that it ain't videotapes right. out. So I'm pretty sure in court, if this really happened, the dude is going to get in trouble. Right. Because it has some footage that is it's some footage somewhere that could show what really happened. Right. So we're going to see what happened. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I can't, I'm not going to accuse him without seeing what happened in court. Right. But if something, if we see something now, when they're in court and they say, yeah, video come out. And because, you but know, when those videos come out, video I'm just, I'm just, it's something. To her. It's going to be mean, something that she got, you know, women got evidence. Let's not even go there. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be something that she's going to be able to show to prove her point. Right. If she can't, it's going to be the same situation like Chris Brown. A girl ended up lying, but thank God Chris Brown has some type of proof. And I bet you Jason Derulo got something okay. in his pocket waiting he, he to just prove that, he hey, better. I didn't do none of this stuff that she's he, saying. He maybe I hit on her and said, hey, I want to kick it. Maybe that's what men do. Don't say maybe. No, I'm just saying. He hit no, on I'm her. No, I'm saying that's what men do. Hey, I hit on girls. You hit on girls, bro? Yeah, everybody do. Everybody I mean, do. what the heck? We all hit on girls. <laughs> but she but come told on. you she don't want that with you, though. So stop it. Come on. She said she we don't know. Work. I don't know. I, I, I when, when we we see what more evidence come out. I don't know. As long as she ain't at dinner, she should have never. If, if <laughs> don't don't <laughs> don't say somebody did all this and you went right back to the dude. You know what I'm saying? It takes like like he seven did nothing. Times to leave so an once you do, but once you do that, now you, you women op- don't even leave abusers. When you do that, you open up the door to maybe you're lying. Okay, well. So that's all I'm saying. You know, that's on her. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll I mean, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we yeah, we yeah. gonna keep we up. We gonna keep up with this story definitely. You know. Um, hey, before we go to uh, this last topic, Francis, let's see what people are saying in the chat. <laughs> Man, this show, this, this this show been lit, huh? It's been oh, lit, boy, long. Been lit. <laughs> <laughs> we only got the three topics, but it was a lot because the we got that, that first one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, we breaking it down. Let's uh-huh. see what people saying in the chat, in the chatty chat. Hey, also too, when my hey, camera gonna be clear like y'all? Also too, people. No, nah, no, nah, that that one is actually going, you know, uh, to yeah. the place on Friday. Send I got it an to appointment, Sony, so, look. so you know, because hey. I need niggas to see how cute I am. <laughs> oh man, you can still see everything. It's just the only, you know, I when need it's them to yeah. see me in three D, and it just got to be set in four K. The camera, it just got to be set. Okay, you know, uh, but um, let's see what people in the chat are saying. Also, too, you know, uh, people who are watching, you know, hey, get involved in the chat. I'm also working on something. To where people could start to call in, you know, we're gonna okay, take this woo. to another level with it. I'm, we want to hear what the, we don't just want to see the chat. We want to hear what the people are saying out here, man. You know what I'm saying? So, so we gonna really get to it, you know. We don't want to uh, hear people calling in too. They just say, "Yeah, hey, I just wanna say hi and okay, <laughs> bye." <laughs> oh yeah, we don't want to hear people's <laughs> thoughts and opinions, what they gotta exactly. say. Exactly, sing all it. Of that. I'm gonna put y'all on the spot. Uh, why are you always gotta Tell go y'all back about to singing? I, well, I like music moves. Yeah, you, you, you trying to do a whole show with twenty a uh, bed making, love making, whatever. <laughs> music make the world go round. Uh, yes, oh, it does. Did. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it does. It does. Music do. That's that's it what do. it's all about. We all connect in that way. Yeah, you know, that's a fact. Yeah, what's up? Oh, hey, yeah. Francis, what's going yeah, what's on, brother? The chat? What's going on with Francis the chat? Francis, sleep we go. back there. Christine Silva, Joe is a lyricist. Main reason Drake said he was one of his influencers. Uh, influences. <laughs> I think he meant influences. Well, Drake did, did say that at one point in time, a long time ago. He looked up to uh, Joe Buddy. Uh, when Drake started coming at him, getting personal, you know Joe's opinion matters to him. Of course, yeah, straight up, you know, <laughs> and that did that. This is facts. That did happen at one point in time. Drake said Joe Budden was one of the dudes he looked up to. Oh yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm just, you know, what I'm saying, like, like it's, it, these are facts. These are facts, you know. Yeah, these are facts. He's still a hater. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey no matter what, uh, uh, that was uh, one of Drake's idols. So you gotta respect his idol, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what we got next? 
Uh, John Morris. Oh, my baby, man. Amarachi looks like a white <laughs> eight. Oh, Amarachi God. friend. My, the, hey, my, the, the picture is gone. The picture is gone. Leave John alone. Yeah. I can't stand that y'all do yeah. that to John when John is here supporting uh, us. Uh, it's all love, John, no, but what happened to the picture, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. Oh, John is man. always here to save me. Forget oh, y'all. man, that is so funny. That is so funny. John Morris in his house. Who do we got? Do we got anybody um, new today? We got some new people in here. Okay, but let's show some. Let's give some new people an opportunity to read what they got to say. Uh, Galena Z, millions of people are standing up to it. We are just normal people with normal voices. We need more voices with platforms like Ricky Jarvis. For cancel, cancel cancel culture. From oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Pre- appreciate. Is it Gervais or Jarvis? I think that's uh, Gervais or something. Uh, Gervais. Yeah. Gervais. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Now, nah, pre- appreciate that, Galena. Thank you. Appreciate that. Definitely, definitely. You know what I'm saying? To give it to you. It's a new person up in here. Eww. First time we read a comment from you. So definitely keep coming back. We appreciate you. Helen Roy, Helen Roy, the purpose of his jokes is to laugh at each other because we are different and to acknowledge that, not to single people out. It affects uh, the purpose of his jokes. Okay, who jokes are we talking about? Did we talk about jokes? What, are you talking yeah. about us? <laughs> whatever, uh, you know, know, whatever it is, we're going to show you love. Ooh, yeah. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Hey. There's something going on in the chat or something that we don't know about. You know what I'm saying? But uh, appreciate you, Helen. Uh, Let's okay. get some of the new okay, ones. Okay, be the man. Thank wait, wait, you. We, we, I know. Get... Can you find his? Because he said my oh, hair. He snap. said my hair ain't. He will know about my hair, but them twins sitting right. <laughs> I said, okay, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Shelley. I mean it. I mean, it is known for Derulo that he loves to change partners. So I wouldn't be surprised at all at Gemma Disforgus. That was his old partner, the Gemma girl. Okay, okay. That picture was yeah, the that girl. Was, yeah, that was. Yeah. Old picture. Okay, got it, got it. Appreciate it, Jesse. Appreciate it. Always showing love. Always showing love. What we got? What else we got? You know, let's get some some new ones. You know, um, yeah, we got some new ones in let's there. Let's get some new ones, Francis. Let's get some new people up in here. See no what matter they got what they talk say. about. Pull it up. Yeah, it don't. Yeah, that part don't never matter. You know what I'm saying? We gonna show them all love, even you know. Hey, being here is showing love, rather you saying something negative yeah. or positive. So we're gonna we're gonna show love back, no matter what you said. Be the man. I don't know about that hair, but them twins. <laughs> are up you right. see what I'm saying? Oh, you had to pull up that, huh? That's what I found in there. Y'all playing? The, the, the oh check. my god! Y'all, I asked them though. Didn't I ask at the beginning? We appreciate that, <laughs> being right for love or compliments, huh? <laughs> That's not even a compliment. <laughs> he said, you don't know about that hair. I mean, but he said the twin, that's still a compliment. He, he, he probably, probably, probably would have been filling a blonde wig, though. Yeah, well, you know, I'll keep it spicy. It's all. <laughs> 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 and some other ones in here, though. Well, you were the, the blonde one. They like, ooh, you know I what I'm saying? Like, what y'all want? The no, white girl John to come out or something? Want. They want the white girl. <laughs> they want the no, white girl. John. Barbershop Talk TV. Salute everyone. New subscriber. Hey. Hi, Barbershop. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Straight up. Appreciate you. We here every week, man. Definitely. Twice a week. Coming with it. Appreciate you, man. For it. Straight up. Straight up. Another one for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What about the Damien Farland? Damien Farland. Have you had him before? He's all in here. Damien Farland. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, but if Francis put something up of him, that's that's cool. But yeah, he's definitely. Oh. What up, Damien Farland? <laughs> well, he has a lot of comments. That's why I said that. Well, okay. Oh, he's saying all kind of stuff up in there. Huh? <laughs> yes. Okay, there we go. Sherry Helen, it doesn't. It really doesn't take much to fulfill a guy's needs. You're right. It don't. Tell it really don't. It, it. You know, we we ask for a couple of things. You know, you know, women they want it. Y'all want it all. Yeah. But us, we only ask for a couple of things, and it's hard as hell for us to get that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Fact. Yeah, it's right. Hard. That's a fact. It's, it's hard. hard. For us to get those couple of but, Sher- doing but you know what, Sherry? Let's give Sherry a clap, though. Because <laughs> you know Sherry understands what it is. Exactly. She understands. Appreciate that, Sherry. Sherry must be married. Straight up, right? Yeah. Sherry got to be married. Yeah, I think maybe. she did say something at one point in time that show she was married. Yeah, she you could tell. A lot of them that, see, girls like that is who the women should be talking to. You know what I'm saying? All right, Juliet Hanna. Joe Budden told the truth about Drake. Not even going to lie, said exactly what I was thinking when I was listening to this album. That's that's all I'm saying. That's why I say 
everybody should go listen to the whole album for themselves. Yeah. I think that this is what proved Joe Budden is one of the top, if not the top, hip hop podcast in the world. It proved it. You know what I'm saying? He started all this by just giving his opinion. Didn't yeah. talk bad about Drake. Didn't say Drake suck. You suck on this. None of that. Right. He gave his opinion about the body of work. That's it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the comment, Julia. There's a Hannah. couple other new Straight ones up. in there. Who else we got up in there? Who else we got? What else? What Don't else make we me got? come back to the production. <laughs> Where is the? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. Another Julia. Can we? Can we no, hey, there's I a lady appreciate named you, Julia. Uh, yeah. Francis, get another one. I appreciate it, but let's let's try to get, get everybody new. else in. Yeah. Get somebody new in. I appreciate it though, Julia. We got to give everybody an opportunity. That's it. That's it. Um, what so, about yeah. this Galena Zed? You could you could take that. You could go to the next one, Francis. You could go to the next one. As a guy, I find it impossible oh, to have Jesus. close friends anymore. I mean, I might as well since it's sitting there. I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, okay. Galena Zed, as a minority, I rather you ask stupid questions about my culture instead of assuming I will be offended and stop the communication before it ever begins. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's that's oh, important. No, because like JY was saying, you teach, you learn different things from different cultures oh, yeah, when you yeah, date outside. So like, sometimes you're like, oh, do you guys have house? They'll be like, do you have houses in Africa? What kind of stupid question is that? But then we can explain. Actually, we have mansions and we have poor and rich. You know what I mean? So that makes kind of that makes sense. Yeah, people, yeah. People I mean, at, you know, like, definitely. Uh, stop, um, stop. Wait, let me give you one for that. Okay, stop trying. Thirty three. Underscore YT RP man all day. Yeah. That's always always RP Kobe man. You know when it comes down to it, bring up Kobe every Jordan. every inspiration that that, right. that I utilize definitely in my life. You know have to do with Kobe because you know the Laker colors are yellow. You know what I'm saying? You know my first sports car, the Mustang yeah. with the 08s on the side with the flat screen TVs. That was Kobe. It was always <laughs> RP Kobe. You know what I'm saying? So hey, yeah. all day all day. Appreciate you. And that was that was a a, a new visitor as well. So yep. make sure you hey, subscribe. Join bro. the squad. Join yeah. the squad. Join Don't just be a visitor. Squad. Don't just be a visitor. Join squad. the squad. Join the squad for you real. Got, for you real. gotta have a certain button for new subscribers so they know they feel special. You know, oh woo whoosh. Well, we got your the mom. new members. We squad. got the, we got the new members and everything where they can oh, become a new. I'm member. I'm talking about your buttons that you push when you're giving we, us. We punches. got a button that says oh, squad. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> squad. <laughs> squad. Hi, welcome. Squad. Yeah. Okay, nature. All right, um, nature is beautiful views. <laughs> As a single woman, I think I can give decent advice. Uh, look, why, why I gotta get personal? Look, look, look. Oh let, let me explain. Exactly. Let me explain. Let me explain. Okay. That's true. I am in no way. I want. I see. It showed me. Sometimes you gotta clear things up. Mm -hmm. I am in no way, shape, or form saying that a single woman cannot give advice. Heck, no. I am not saying that. I said when it come down to marriage, you're looking to be a married woman. Yeah. And you want to know, hey, how can I please a man? Or be in a position as a woman one day to be married and get a man's attention to show him that I really want to be a wife and do the things that it takes to be a wife. Uh -huh. How can I be in that position? I said that why go to a single person who have never been a wife or is not a wife and ask her for her advice or opinion? Right. I'm not saying you can't give advice as a single woman. Well, she... I said if you're looking to be married. Don't get advice from a single woman. Yeah. Am I making something up? Yeah. Get advice from yeah. someone who is married because they understand That's what facts. it is to be married. Yeah. No, so that makes sense. I get what you're saying, but I was just talking about something a little different. But appreciate you anyway, straight up. Yeah. Uh, Sherry Bedell. Wow. I was never a fan of Jason Derulo, but I am now. She must like the, yeah. the nasty talk. Oh, the nasty wow. talk. That's what it is. Yeah, Girls Jason be liking Derulo, that shit. That, he, but, hey, oh, remember yeah, I told yeah. you about that, that killer, that serial killer? Who was that dude that was killing all the women? Uh, we was talking about him the other day. Oh, uh, oh, shoot. But look, all the women start supporting yeah. him, start loving him, send him letters. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, oh, women, yeah, women is confusing, he was cute bro. Too, I swear. 
Yeah. Wait, but Jason. What's his name? Um, uh, stuff the with the stalker, night stalker. What's his name? Played him in the movie. What's his name? Played him. Uh, Jason, the, the actor, um, the actor uh, from High School Musical, played him in the movie. Yeah, you know. Are you not talking about the one the kid? The Ted Bundy. We talking about Ted Bundy. Oh, Ted. Yeah, yeah. He was there we go. Though. Yeah, Ted, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, but wait, wait, wait. Before, <laughs> how can we keep doing the same people? You have never put one up from Damian Farland. Surely, but I mean, we got to be fair. Let's go to the next one because I don't read the other person's second one. So let's go to the next one, Francis. If I mean, we already still read it, if we already I'm showed, if we showed that comment, let's go. We just want to give everybody a chance who um, comments we haven't read yet. Now she likes them. Oh, I like them now because I'm hearing all this stuff. <laughs> talking about. My God, I want to be involved with that. That's what she, yeah, I want to be involved. Are, are Things are to a mess today, Shirley. Actually, yeah, definitely. Women. Hey, women are freakier than men. I'm just let y'all know. Oh, I mean, that's a what do you mean, well, y'all? That's a, it oh, depends oh, on the man. Like, I'm not even gonna say. It. I mean, you, you. Uh, let's, okay. let's let's move on. Exactly. Hey, Damien <laughs> Ferland. I think he's if new. A, if a girl, uh, no, I've saw Damien oh, Ferland before. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If a girl has a cuteness factor, she will age well. She'll always be attractive, and if she stays fit through her twenties, she'll most likely keep a level of fitness throughout life. That is true. Yeah. Sometimes, except no, for some white women. That. Yeah. We just right, saying. You, we just Shit. saying. Yeah, you, you, we just saying. You, you, we all age but, though. But, but, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. But, um, the the facts of fertility. Uh, that's what you mean. When it comes down to what we're capable and able. Fertility. No, no, no. When it comes down to what we're capable and able. Of doing that changes as we get older. That's yeah. all, all we yeah. said. We're not saying a woman can't be fit when yeah. she's forty and fifty and sixty. I mean, look at you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. you know. But J Lo cannot do the same things that she was able to do in her twenties. It's just a yeah, fact. But that's biologically. Kids, like, biologically, she can't. But everybody don't want a little young naive idiot. Some people want a mature person that can help them build their life. They don't want to just twenty year old just because oh she's fertile. Um, you can if, be if they're in that place. No, I'm just that saying if they're in that if they're in that place if they're in a place yeah. where they still want a family. Of course, like let's be real. No. Oh, they cannot go with no 40, <laughs> 50, they, or 60 people, or no. Know that, but that's all that's all that's all we're really saying when it comes down to all of that part of it. Okay. You okay. can't. If you can't, you can't, you know? Y'all okay. y'all be getting mad at dudes just because we telling the truth. <laughs> You know, like because we're not saying nothing about. To put no, it's just the truth. Y'all, y'all trying to live say, up to their Y'all say y'all are little bums, and we respect you know that. You know what it is about these women? I respect it. You know what it is? The truth hurts. That's what it, it is. do. It hurts. It hurts bad. I don't like to hear the truth. It hurts badly. And I get it. When women speak up against them, we we when when we see we like it is what it is. You know, I already know if I if I lost everything and I was a bum, I know no woman gonna want me. I'm I'm cool. I understand. I get it. She might like you. I wouldn't want no woman to want me. That's how hard men are on, on ourselves we hard on ourselves yeah you know what i'm saying like straight up like i don't want no woman to want me i'm broke out here on the streets now let me do me and let me figure this out you know what i'm saying <laughs> so we we men we're more realistic you know what i'm saying we more logical you know um we got we got okay. anything else going on uh okay Gemma dysphorgus uh this chick and her mother are super problematic um, hashtag Jason. See, she don't I mean, it. look, look, yeah. look, look, I, I, I was telling you when it come Man, down to it. That's no, what, that's what, what I was Jason saying. Was trying to we don't know. No, 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 no. Oh I'm just saying nope, this is why I nope, said what I nope, said. Nope, I already know. I'm not going this to happen time something. and time again. No, we, we, we just want to trash the dude. Fuck her she looked not knowing like what really happened. Like. No. Now you right, right so far, Emirates, you seem like the women nope. going against Even you. Even the women. The women <laughs> we got two of them that I like. That's not a oh, woman. Uh, you know Gemma sometimes switch it up on us. That's a man. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, and, and the dude who keep, keep writing you, that's a man? Well, exactly. That's a man? Job. Exactly. That's a man? That's why I'm watching. Rush got another like, count. She probably yeah. like yeah. job. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> job been with y'all since y'all started. Now you want to put it on But I don't know what to do. I don't know like if he's a man or woman. You saw he took down the picture. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so look how you went in he on so him last did. week. Because like, we were oh, trying look to at see. <laughs> we were trying to see what is really going on. Tommy Scott, this woman, she's not good at lying. See all the women going in. Man, it's okay. Hey, you doing a good job, right? Hey, Francis, you working overtime right now, Francis. You see. You yeah, working overtime right now, yeah, Francis. Because Jason Derulo, they got you working overtime right now, Francis. Don't you showing worry. it? What, well, you showing what needs to be shown right now? Don't worry. What All the saying? women. Yeah, that's what I was even saying. Even though Jason Derulo lie. Lie. That's what they All do. All the women, women lying. appreciate you, Tammy Scott, for keeping lying. it real he in the field. Lied about pot. You know what I'm saying to the homie Pot back in the day. That's what these women. We not lied about Kobe. See, this is this is why this is this is why a lot of the women, you know, that that thing like you ain't happy because. 
us men, we're not taking any more dudes going down like Pac when they ain't do, did nothing. We're not yeah. taking that no more. Yeah. We saw Pac go down Kobe. when he didn't do nothing. Kobe, we're not doing that. We ain't going through nah, that no more. Nah. That's well, over. He, That's over. We have legends. Made, That's over. And, and, the women, and some of the women got our back with it. Hey, he made promises to her and didn't fulfill them. We don't, we don't know end. what happened. We don't know. <laughs> Scoring that. <laughs> Scoring that hell, dude. Go to Helsie. Well, I guess she doesn't want to work for a living, so she decided to just take his <laughs> man to the one. Hey, you know they <laughs> all on you. They oh, all that's one four of them the right row. Now. That's four, four in the row. Are oh, you gonna say all four of them not women? All four. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. All four not women. Okay. Wow. I stand oh okay, gosh. well I'm gonna stand with the wow. l- young lady who was trying to get her singing career off the ground wow. and who Jason Derulo stopped answering her phone calls after she decided this she This makes me even more feel him. like she's lying. Because yeah, even the women can see straight through exactly it. They can see straight yep, through it. They yep. like nah. Well, she's straight okay, lying. but, That's what I but, but so you guys are saying there's absolutely no truth to the fact that he was probably trying to push his way and getting with her and once he didn't she that didn't work out he didn't he fell back on the sit back on the situation i think she's You're exaggerating refuting that. i think she's exaggerating okay that's but what i you think, think there's some truth to, that, to him trying to holler i believe her. just like us as all men we all gonna go after women okay we're gonna hit on women no. that's just what so we do then what? i believe he left it alone and left her I, alone no. mid-contract that's why he's in no. court this is this is this is why i believe she stayed it wasn't serious this is why i believe she didn't leave you know At what I'm first, saying? But he probably all the women see okay. it. Why they exactly. probably think why no, she didn't leave? Those women have never been in a position that know. she's talking about. No, no she's judging the I'm fence. telling you, and right we love now. you all. We know that y'all hey, all out there doing y'all thing, a, grinding. Look, I'm not gonna no. put the people in the comments down. You put them down. No. You put the people in the comments <laughs> down. You know, these are hardworking individuals that come in probably had a long day at work, coming in and and supporting the show, and you now dissing them. I'm putting y'all. I'm that's, putting y'all. That's game. messed y'all have up. Not been a position with they a man of up. power. No, they, they know haven't. what's up. <laughs> Damien Parley, why men are going overseas for love? Exactly. We said that earlier. Because they think they can tie them down. Because they want tradition. They think they can tie them down and treat them like slaves, but they're going to get over here. The oh girl going to get her God. visa. She's going to drop you like that. Oh just like that. God. Drop you like you hot. Like I said, Damien, <laughs> because men biologically, when it's close to a traditional woman as they could get, and for the most part, women overseas, they're closer yeah. to tradition than women from the U.S. That's just a fact. Okay. It's just a fact. I'm not lying. It's a fact. Look how many times those Ain't men that get left when they get to no, America. Okay, cool, right, cool. Go. You forgot All Rosa right. Shelley. Hello, oh, I guys. I am new on here. Oh, right. well, uh, uh, do you got, can you I find know. that last one? No, really no, 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 no. Okay. Let's move on. She okay. said it. But Rosa, hi, Rosa. Rosa Shelley. Exactly. Even, even while we finishing out, if you see that, uh, you could just put it up just to uh, show her some love, Francis. All right, so um, we going to just quickly just go through this last topic and then you know we out of here so uh, we just said a little we bit don't of something have to y'all done lied enough bye no. No. <laughs> <laughs> i think this is you know we i will i, I, I with more time we would have got more into this but we just gonna touch on it we i'm not even gonna read everything i'm just gonna say this tia mari she says dating oh. is complicated but she's not going back to something that no longer serves her so for people who don't know tia mari was putting out you know, putting out there that it's hard, dating is hard now, men don't court no more mm-hmm. and everything like that. And remember, Tia Mori is now, what, 46, right? Mm-hmm. 46 years old. You know, she got a divorce a couple of years ago from um, Corey. You watch All American? The show All American? Yeah, yeah, the coach, I watched it. You know, yeah, the, the yeah, baseball yeah. coach who got She's on, like, the drugs. And, well, mm-hmm. he had the, the mental issues, the baseball coach. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Corey. That's his um, ex-husband. Okay. Her ex-husband. Yeah, yeah, okay. Tia Mori. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So, so they divorced a couple of years ago. And um, she's having a hard time finding, well, this you know, dudes, mm-hmm. you know, and everything like that. She's having a very hard time. So she's she went on a platform and said, you know, men don't want to court no more. You know, that ain't mm-hmm. what they want. And, and, you know, it's difficult out here when it come down to dating, you know, and, and, and people was in the comments saying you shouldn't have loved your husband. You know, hey, why why you loved him? And what did you know, she go respond? back to your husband and everything like that. She she responded by yep. saying what I said. She said she's not going back to something that no longer yep. served her. Exactly. You know, that's what she said. You know, so uh, really quick, let's just get thoughts on this yep. and everything. Uh, we'll start with you, bro. What's your thoughts on this Tia Mari situation? Man, only thing I can say just keep trying. Shit, I don't know what to say. To that. <laughs> Should have yeah. stayed with him. She loved him. That's her fault. So shit, just keep trying. Shit, right. ain't nothing I can say. Yeah. All right, like Kevin Salmon said. Bye, dog. <laughs> Die alone. <laughs> Die alone. <laughs> okay, that's see you see how y'all see? doing. See how y'all doing because hey, R. P. Kevin, man. Because a woman R. P. said the goat. 
she pulled the plug on the marriage. She said she was tired of carrying the burden and the weight of the marriage, which she was since she picked him up at the bus stop. And like she said, I agree with her. I'm not going back to anything that's not serving me. She's been rich since rich. So it obviously wasn't about money with her because she met Corey at the bus stop when he was a starving artist. Now they've both developed in character and developed in life, but he obviously wasn't keeping up with her. So she decided to let it go and she said she's dating now and that's okay. Yeah, it is hard out here, but like she's telling these women, I don't care. I'm not going to stay in a place that's not serving me. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. So she left him and she don't want him back. She looking for a new nigga and that's okay. I mean, more more power to her. Yeah. You know, one thing that I say, beggars, <laughs> the thing is, though, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> you know, oh, like yeah. getting courted yeah. by a dude, that's over. You over 45 years old. Now, look, look, look. I'm oh, not saying God. nothing against it. I'm just saying, now you date no G's now. Mm. You talking about 45 and older. Dudes, it's like, look, I don't got time for all of that. Yeah. Are we going back home to the spot? We kicking it? We doing what? I'm not finna go yeah. out there, court you, what? buy you flowers, roses, chocolates, and all of that. Mm. I do that in my 20s and stuff like that, but I ain't doing that right now. You know what I'm saying? So so I'm not with none of that right now. Well, let's go do what we do because we are grown adults. You have kids. I got kids. You you divorced. I'm divorced. All right? So let's let's go out there and have a divorce dating relationship. Yeah. No courting. No none of that. So she's now in that world. She's dating in another generation. When she first met with Corey, they was in their like early yeah, 30s tw- or no, 20s. Tw- they even more than that. Time, yeah, in yeah. their 20s. So they was real young. Yeah. She's now single. Two decades later, in her 40s. By choice. You think dating is going to be by the same? Choice. I'm not saying it ain't mm-hmm. by choice. Nah. I'm just saying don't expect that dating is mm-hmm. going to be the same. Nah, You're dating yeah. in a whole nother generation. And that's over, you know? Yeah. But also, Tia, I'm going to just say this. Don't get mad when you see Corey rolling with a young one. <laughs> okay. she she don't don't get mad <laughs> when Corey pull up in that new Maybach with a young one. <laughs> you know that all-American money? You know what I'm saying? We're from overseas. We're from Colombia or Puerto Rico. Oh, like, hey, go. what up, baby? Here I'm picking up the kids <laughs> for the weekend. You know what I'm saying? Go, and Tia's Tia going to do interviews about how hard it is. <laughs> he pulling up with the bad one in the Maybach. Boy. <laughs> Y'all wish she would care. She not even going to care. Yeah. This is why men don't be tripping. <laughs> she don't even care. She don't want them. This is why, hey, y'all got act like that with us. All right, cool. She don't even let's go. Let, let, let's let's go to Mexico. <laughs> she don't even want him. She don't want him. She don't want the dick he come with. She let's don't go want to anything Asia. he got going on. <laughs> let's go. She don't want him, Paul. Let's go. To, let's go <laughs> to Puerto Rico. Bye. <laughs> I'm just saying. This she is what happens. Him. You know what I'm saying? Hey, think about it. If we saw a dude. Going to do an interview, talking the way she was talking. It's hard out here. We would laugh and trash that dude, right? Dudes can't get away with that type of stuff. But women could do that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, hey, you know what the man going to do? We're going to shut up and we're going to go and do what we do. We're going to go get that youngin and let you keep on talking mess and being, what, what did you say? What did Kevin Samuel say? Buy a dog and die alone. Yeah. Hey, that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, I prefer a pet bull. So at least a pet bull, you know, could protect you. You know what I'm saying? If something happened. Oh man, but nah, that's it though, man. Hey, no matter what, the, hey, 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 no, I always got respect for uh, Tia and Tamara, man. We grew up on sister, sister. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's all Tamara love. married to a white man. But so. we keeping, hey, we, but we always gonna keep it real here, though, right? Yeah, so yeah. that's all we do. We keeping it real, but none but love. I just want to put that out there. None but love for Tia and Tamara, man. We grew up on that show, straight yeah. up. You know, I got none but respect for them. And they you know, mo- but movies. And- you want another? You want another? You in another time zone in your life. You, no. you know, you almost 50 you years old. You can't teach your old dog new tricks. Life changed. That's Corey's going to be the same This ain't man. even about Corey. Corey moved on. Corey, like, I ain't thinking about none of this anymore. Yeah, right. Corey, Corey been begging tr- to get that pussy back. Uh, bro, yes, yes, Corey, for one, dude ain't bad. Ain't no, no, no pause. But the dude ain't bad looking. The dude getting bread. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and he's in his prime as a man. You think Corey tripping? He, he getting nah, bread, but Corey, he wasn't <laughs> helping Tia Corey with Corey not nails. tripping, bro. Like, like, he bro, getting bread, Corey, but he wasn't helping Tia. Queen, okay. Corey's not tripping. I promise you that. <laughs> yeah. I, pu- I promise cool. you she that. Pull he's up not with her tripping. New nigga too. We know she's tripping, and we're gonna bring Corey she's on here too. She's saying she's tripping. <laughs> oh, that would be. Oh, that would be hit up Corey. That would be great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Corey, man. Hey, hey, hit us up. Hit us up. All right. <laughs> he gonna be on here like. All right. You, you know I ain't tripping. Leave them niggas behind. <laughs> You know I ain't tripping. You then, see, then you see I'm with right now. He gonna show you what. You see I'm with right now. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm tripping? <laughs> you already know he died. But uh, hey, final thoughts, last thoughts, man. Start with you, bro. Hey, thanks everybody for tuning in. All the new subscribers, you feel me? Check me out. Jy one more. That's my Instagram. If you wanna, you know, request whatever like that. But uh, yeah, thank you everybody for watching. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it going. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah.
Okay, y'all. Right. Well, y'all already know. Tap in with Amarachi. I'm the realest, realest queen out here. They ain't trying to hear the truth, but I'm going to give it to you. Oh, I think that's a good tagline. <laughs> they ain't trying to hear the truth, but I'm going to give it to you. Oh, man, <laughs> y'all funny. ain't trying to hear the truth about what's really going on with these niggas what and women. about us? We, we, y'all we, we, don't even know. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm sitting at the same week. table with you. What are you talking about? Elizabeth Taylor, go get you. Okay. Oh, you don't you don't want us to have no topic talking about all of them in that generation. We don't want to, you don't even want to go there. So trust me, that's not that. They canceling husbands, they canceling us them. as men after that show. We we not uh, we gonna leave that one alone for right now. We'll get there not right now. But uh, hey man, love you all. Bye. Hey, this show, like I say, is now gonna be Tuesdays and Thursdays. We are gonna be giving it to y'all, giving y'all the real breaking down the truth, saying the stuff that they not saying in mainstream media. That's what we gonna be doing, man. Hey, we love you all. It's your boy Paul hey. P.J. Wire Marachi friends is in the back. We out of here, deuces. Hey. <laughs> Show man, I'm not a man.